Are you guys ready? You've probably been ready for 15 minutes. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. We are here. It's happening. Can you see us? Yay! <laughs> no, we're not wine tasting. <laughs> Yay! Welcome in, everybody. Hi. Sorry we're delayed for a few minutes, but we are here and ready to go with today's live gem sale. I did a preview on IGTV. Hopefully you saw it. We've got some beautiful things for you today. We've got brand new stones we've never had for you. And then some that might be familiar, but they're in new forms to you today. And we've got amazing jewelry. We've got wands. We've got everything. And so I hope you're excited. I really do. What's going on with you guys? Did you guys enjoy full moon last night? I hope so. If you missed it, the recording is on YouTube. You can always watch it. Oh, thanks, you guys. It's great to see you. They're saying hi to you, too. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Sherry. I'm glad you're there, too. Woo! Are you ready? Okay. So we have, we have quite a ways to go tonight. Um, the one thing I wanted to double check on my list really quick. Me... So while she's looking through yeah. the list, hello, everybody. I'm Dave, a.k.a. Barbara. So a couple things for tonight to know about. So um, you want to make sure that either already or afterwards you go to sagecast.com and you make an account there. When you create your account on the My Account page, that in the field that says YouTube username, you put your username. So yeah. I see Breezy Ray with Sabrina. Mm -hmm. I see Helen Bunna. I see Walter. That may be Walter's name. <laughs> but if it's not... If he's really Bob, but he likes to, on no, YouTube, Walter's be Walter. Walter. Well, I don't know. I'm just, it's an example. an example. If you have a different name, it helps us to pair up. So it's really important that on the My Account page, you put in your YouTube username so that afterwards we can get you your one items. And you also want to make sure that you comment sold and the item name and amount mm -hmm. after the SG team has given the price. <laughs> and made a post for that. And then our ST, SG team will go through and um, announce the winners. Well done. Wasn't, I kind of fumbled through it a little bit, but it's all good. That was a good recap. Um, anybody new? <laughs> Walter says he's a Bob. I see that, anybody and new? I am a Barbara. Sometimes we go by other names, it's good. Anybody have any questions and anybody new? New, new, new. Quana is new. new. Jules is new. <clears throat> Lillian Flores is new. Caitlin Rodriguez is new. Look at that. Christina. Lena is seasoned. Yes, I you did, are, darling. I did <laughs> get a haircut. I also trimmed a little bit myself on this side. It's not even, so I'm just going to look this way. It actually looks really even on the screen. No, there's this, like, gouge in here because it was still too long. I just, I cut it. Yeah, I don't even know if my hair is even because it's nine feet long. I did get a trim too, but guess what? You can't tell. <laughs> Denise said, I'm only new to the planet. Is this the same shirt as before? Is it? No, you wore a different color, I think. Was that... He has a lot of those shirts. I, you know, most of my shirts are blue. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to tell you something, and you may have heard this before. One of the most important decisions you can remove from your life in order to be productive is what you're going to wear. And I never heard anybody else say it until I heard Mark Zuckerberg say it. So Mark Zuckerberg has like 100 of the same shirt and he doesn't make clothing choices every day because he says it's a waste of time. So I follow that path a little bit. I have like 10 tank tops that I rotate between and some pants and a bunch of dresses and that's it. Actually, I think it was Steve Jobs. No, I'm pretty sure it's Mark Zuckerberg. I think it was Steve Jobs. Did Steve Jobs wear the same thing every day? So I know Steve Jobs ate the same thing every day. Did you hear about this? I didn't know about this until we watched the movie. The Steve Jobs, a lot of days, only drank carrot and apple juice. Yeah, I didn't know that. So funny thing, too. When Steve Jobs started doing it, because I used to be in software. Anyway, so I used to be in software. And back in the day, when Steve Jobs started doing it and just wearing the same thing, all the CEOs in the Valley started doing the same damn thing. And so, like, our CEO used to come in every day, Steve Jobs. straight black, right? Mm -hmm. Black shirt, black coat, black pants, black shoes. And it was just like, really? So somebody said I wear this T-shirt a lot, but um, little known fact, I have three <clears throat> of them. Yeah. So it's actually not the same tank top. But I love it so much because I think everybody should inhale and exhale love that I bought three of them. 
Plus it's from Etsy and I like to support small business. So I was like, I really love that. I bet I'm gonna wear it a lot. I'll get three. <laughs> I think she gave me like 10% off or something too, because I got three. I think you do that with crystals too. <laughs> do you do that with crystals too? Is that, a, <laughs> is that a personal problem that we share? One for the office, one for the car, one for the house, you know, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so anyway, hi. Um, so the, the the best people I know don't don't change their clothes a lot is the upshot. Yeah. And so if you wear the same thing all the time, I think that's great. Did you know that your clothing <coughs> your clothing has energy, and that's oftentimes why you don't want to change it. Or if you do want to change it, it's because of the energy. Clothing absorbs. Anyway, I don't know why we're talking about this, but it was a really fun conversation for a few minutes. If you stop thinking about what you wear, like I do my makeup the same way every day, and you stop thinking about what you eat, then your life becomes very simple. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> it's okay. See, I think this is interesting. Um, a lot of you are here for a gem sale, so let's get to it. So today we're selling stones. <laughs> this is why they love it. Because half the time we're not talking about what we're talking about. We're talking about... I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know. Would you like to talk about some stones? <laughs> okay, let's do that. We do have some really fun things to talk about. And look, I've got some cute clothes too, but just not a lot of them. Alexis is flipping through the, the sheet here, trying to find whatever clothes <laughs> we're talking about. She's like, is it 42? Is it 32? Okay. Um, I am really excited about today's new offerings though. I miss bingo too. I think we should do another bingo. I talked about it today when we were live. Did you? There's consensus they'd like to try it again. Some people didn't feel like the like it it, it was a fair shake though. Well, were you on the naughty list? Me personally? Yes. <laughs> or them. Now there's going to be this whole thing in social about, oh my God, there was a naughty list. I, I am on the naughty list though. So if there's a naughty <laughs> list, don't worry. <laughs> I'm on it too. Okay, see Emily Arduino missed it. Print your cards early. Yeah, yeah. That would be good to print your cards early, yeah. I think. Okay. 3,000 people was a lot of bingo, but it's hard because we have a... We have a million people in our community, so 3,000 was like not everybody there, right? So I don't know how to do it and say certain people can't come. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, you're down for bingo. We'll figure it out. It'll be all right. Okay. I'm going to dive right in with right. one of my favorite things. Yeah. Um, Get it. Okay. Blue tourmaline spheres. Uh now, I'm going to tell you, if you're new, there are things at every price point in this sale, so don't worry. I'm starting out with something that's in the middle to high range, but it's because I'm obsessed. Um, blue tourmaline, for me, is a dream. It's called indicolite. In, when it's in from this range into more of a teal color, it's called indicolite. And blue tourmaline is an incredibly rare stone. Um, these are blue tourmaline with mica, lipidolite, and quartz. Are they incredible or what? Um, these are from Madagascar, by the way, I believe. So pretty. We have small, medium, and large. The small is three and a half Sorry, inches. Sorry, I showed you the large before Yeah, the he showed you the large. The small is not small. Let's be real. Three and a half inches is not a small sphere. He'll show you the small. It's not small. small. Usually that's large. Medium. Yeah, so then the large is really large. The large is five inches of blue tourmaline and quartz. I'm going to drop it. With lipidolite. No, yeah, I'm careful. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. I'm gonna you guys ready for fancy? No, they're ready fancy. for... Fancy. Okay, well, look at that. Ah, that's so cool. We get to do the, like, picture in picture thing. That is so rad. Do you guys like that? I've been doing it with the full moon and with my classes and stuff, but we haven't done it with a gem sale yet. I think it's really neat. Our first gem sale... Picture and, picture. and my son has had played a critical role in getting this together. Nick is really into technology, and he loves to help with the setup and stuff. So how fun is that? And then you can kind of still see us, even though we're focusing on the stone, which I think is really neat. Kind of fun, right? Close up on Barbara's balls, or you know, it's just one of the services we offer, Saya. <laughs> Glad I could be here for your entertainment. It's good. All right. Okay. So what are we doing? Okay, are blue, this blue tourmaline. Well, hold on, I need to teach them. Okay. So blue tourmaline, tourmaline comes in all the colors, right? Pink tourmaline is to open your heart after you've been hurt. Red tourmaline is to ground you, may help you feel stable. Green tourmaline is for wisdom discernment, right? Especially in love. 
um, golden tourmaline activates the solar plexus. This is the blue. And it activates the third eye chakra. Some people say um, throat chakra too, it depends. This is more of an indigo colored tourmaline. There are more teal colored varieties of, of blue tourmaline or indicolite. And the matrix is quartz. So blue tourmaline, we don't talk about it often because it's so rare and you never find it, is one of the most powerful third eye stones you can work with. And in particular, it's helpful for, and this, this is what's really interesting to me, for, for reading the future, um, but also for integrating the wisdom of the past. It's an integration stone. And we don't have a lot of those. And we don't ever talk about it because I don't remember the last time we had blue term. <laughs> blue term I read the future and it was that you're gonna announce the price. This is not demortarite, because demortarite is blue quartz, Aaron Elliott. This is blue tourmaline. Whole different ball of wax. I have demortarite spheres. You want to see the difference? Because Aaron's asking. Show her demortarite next to blue tourmaline. That's blue quartz. This is blue tourmaline. Isn't that awesome? I'm glad you asked, because that way I get to teach you. So we'll talk about demortarite. Was she it's like an audience plant? plant? No, but I want to thank her. You know, like sometimes when people ask a question, you're like, wow, did you plan that? Because it was like such a perfect question. But I didn't. Aaron Elliott was just like kind of right on top of it. You get an extra bingo card. I know. Well, I don't know. But anyway. Um, blue tourmaline is to see the future while integrating the past. Mica and lapidolite are for relaxation and peace. And then um, quartz is a magnifier of energy. It's also got smoky quartz in the matrix there too, which is pretty cool. Blue's my favorite, Julia. It I'm is right there favorite. With you. Okay, so I have nine of the small. Nine small. 10 medium. 10 medium. Two large. Son of a. <laughs> I'm not making this easy for him, am I? <laughs> um, I need a makeup line. I really appreciate that, but you know, I'm so loyal to my makeup companies. Anyway, we can talk about that later. Um, oh, so yes. nine of the small, <laughs> the small is 164, uh, $164. The medium is 199 and the large is 234. The retail value on the small is uh, $299. Our price is 164. So you can kind of, you can figure out the rest of the retail value from there. So it would go um, 199 to 249 to 299 for small, medium, and large. So we're bringing you a really rare stone at an incredible price. I'm so excited for you guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we just haven't had it. We would have gotten more if there was more available, but there's no more available. So this is what we got. Blue tourmaline. Oh. I get so excited. I don't even have a blue tourmaline sphere. I know, isn't that cool? I have a blue tourmaline point in quartz, but that's it. And I got that in Tucson like 100 years ago, and I paid a whole bunch of bucks for it. Yeah. So congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm watching all the comments come in. Yeah, you'll love it. Becky Bowman, it is beautiful. And, there, and, and when you get it, you'll see, you can really see the tourmaline crystals. Oh, yeah. You can really see them. I mean, there. you can see into it, right? Mm -hmm. And so it was, it's fun to show you next to the Dermortorite because blue quartz and blue tourmaline sound similar, but there's, it's such a different material. And the blue quartz is really, it's like a consistent color across, whereas the blue tourmaline is like a little baby crystals. Super pretty. Like baby crystals. Yeah. If, if it's buffering for you, it's, it's, you need to refresh. Yeah. Just hit refresh. And then You'll you can also lower down to a, um, um, like where it's streaming right now at 1080p. So you can go to like 480 or 720 just by clicking in the right hand corner. Lower your what? Your GDP? Bit rate. Oh, bit rate. Not your gross domestic product. No. Okay. I That's do, happening already. I don't do tech. <laughs> Lower your GDP, everybody. Yes. You'll be just fine. It's happening. <laughs> Already. I saw the free. <laughs> Congratulations if you got one. See how useless I would be if, if my job was technologies, but that's why my job isn't technologies. That's his job. I always joke, I went from software to the Stone Age. <laughs> that's really funny. I haven't heard you say that in a really long time. <laughs> he kind of did, though. He was all like future oriented, tech oriented. Now he's. Rocks. He's got rocks. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's good. You guys didn't know it either. I'm not alone. Don't lower your GDP. 
<laughs> I don't know what that means. Um, we are really excited for you, though, if you got a blue tourmaline. Screen. Congrats, guys. Pretty rad. Blue tourmaline is Indicolite. That is the trade name for blue tourmaline, so you'll see it. Yeah. Okay. Um, can we talk about the big Celestite Geos, or is that too much right now? Oh, Actually, want... let's go for something a little bit smaller. Yeah, let's do something a little bit smaller. Let's talk about a Mazanite. The little ones. Yeah. Grab. He's gonna be the grabber. <laughs> You're welcome. We saw it. <laughs> Somebody got a screenshot of that. Looks good, doesn't it? I'm the, the stones, oh, the stones how washed out that here. looks! That looks terrible. That looks horrible. Fix it, fix it, tech man. <laughs> That's better, but it's still not it's still not showing the yeah, intensity that, of the color. That sucker in focus. These are the bluest blue tanzanite or blue amazonite generators we brought you. Now they, they are fully included with smoky quartz. That's the big deal. So these have these are from Africa. African amazonite is included with way more quartz than amazonite from other parts of the world. And that's one of the reasons I love it, because the, the combination of amazonite, which is the blue mineral, um, with the smoky quartz, which is the brown mineral that you see. So amazonite is for your throat chakra. It helps you speak your truth with power and authenticity, right? Um, and then the smoky quartz clears energy. So this is like, a lot of people don't speak their truth because they don't feel safe to do that, right? They think people are gonna judge them. They think people are gonna, I don't know. This one's got a big stripe. Yeah, you see that, how that smoky it. goes through. So they grow together, but you don't always find that proportion of the, of the two uh, minerals together. These, these are cool because they're flat on the back. They're, so they're beveled around the edges, mm -hmm. and then they're flat on the back all the way from the base mm -hmm. to the top. It's beautiful. But on the front. They're dimensional. That's right. You can see how it slopes in the front mm -hmm. there. Yeah, they're really so beautiful. it's got a nice big face on it. reminds me of it. Rock's Mazinite with Smoky Quartz um, collection. Remember the stuff he mined in Africa? I think it was in Namibia. And it, and it was like full, he had clusters, and they were full of the Mazinite. Clusters, clusters, I remember the cluster. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, reminds yeah, me yeah, of that, yeah. like if you were to make um, yeah. generators out of that. This, yeah. is, this is like the best of the best of the best of Mazinite with Smoky. Well, this is a generator. It's a true generator. And I'll tell you how you know. I just was teaching my team this this morning. Um, six sides in the bottom. If, so when it has four, four sides on the bottom, that's an obelisk. When it has six sides on the bottom, that's a generator. Bam. And that's Pearl all there is to it. If you're in Crystal Masters, you know that. And by the way, if you're interested in learning more about crystal shapes, I teach a crystal healing class online called Crystal Masters. And we actually spent a month of our class learning the differences between obelisks and generators. And I taught the history of Egyptian uh, geology and archaeology and why the Egyptians chose obelisks over generators for their temples. So if that kind of stuff interests you, Crystal Masters would be good for you. Look at the shimmer on the face of that. Now there is. There's there's yeah. absolute light play, which really good quality of Mazanite has a shimmer and a sheen to it. it. So you guys can see it too. Here's what's really cool about these. Yeah, so we have obelisks today in pink tourmaline. I'm so excited. So stay tuned if you're an obelisk lover. What's really cool about this one, you guys, especially if you are in Crystal Masters. You see the shimmer? Um, you can use these as the centerpiece of a grid because they have quartz in them. Remember, you can only use a generator or an obelisk in the center of a grid if it has quartz in it. I mean, strictly speaking. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of the cardinal rule. And because these do have quartz in them, you can use this as a centerpiece of a grid. So what kind of grids could you build with this? An authenticity grid, a, an empowerment grid, a strength grid, a communication grid, right? Sorry, I'm not like obsessed with the shimmer. Yeah, I know. He's on the shimmer and I'm trying to teach you. Yes. Okay. And I just said, it looks pretty. It's pretty. Um, I have 10 of the small and I have 10 of the medium. This is one of the more affordable items in the show too. So if you've been wanting a really gorgeous Amazonite generator, this is your opportunity. A teaching grid too, 1000% Daisy Lopez. If you're a teacher, like this is your stone. It's throat. My throat chakra is fine. Yes, it is. <laughs> I have no problem articulating my needs all the time. Day and night, she talks. <laughs> oh, la, la. 
All right, let's go. Come on. Okay. I have 10 of the small. They are $49. I have 10 of the medium. Guess what? They're $59. The small are two and a half to three inches. The, the medium are three to three and a half inches. I did not grow up in a household where I was told not to talk, which probably helps. Most kids were told, you know, shut up and scram. I wasn't, I wasn't uh, in that house. Scram, kid, bother me. <laughs> um, I don't think anybody was listening to me, but I was not silenced. So I laughed. I'm asinite. <laughs> but if you feel, I mean, but a lot of people, see, a lot of people did. A lot of people felt silenced, like their voice didn't matter. Like nobody cared, like they were told, you know, children should be seen and not heard kind of thing. And so what that creates is a throat chakra blockage. And it's kind of no joke. I mean, I'm laughing about this, but in a way, a lot of people really need to learn how to activate that chakra so that they can express themselves in their relationships and business. So yeah, it's the one thing I'm going to give my parents huge kudos for. Very open and expressive household I grew up in. But you know, we're Greek, so, but we yelled a lot. Does that count? What? <laughs> now we yell because we can't hear each other. What? What'd you say? I yell because I can't hear him. Yeah, the shut up and scram thing. I think it's an older generation, though. I don't know. I don't hear as many kids these days being told to shut up and scram. But they're on their devices. <laughs> they have already run away. <laughs> they already scram. You know what I mean? Like, with my kids, I'm like, say something. <laughs> For the love of God, shut it off and come downstairs. We shut off the internet. Oh, yeah. It's a powerful app. Boop. No, literally. Done. It, not enough kid time? <laughs> Guess what? Click. And then all of a sudden you hear it coming down the stairs. Boom, 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 boom. I don't think the internet's working. Yeah, it's, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, magically it's not. I shut it off. It happens. Anyway, okay. So we'll let you know. Crystal Scarlet wants to know if she missed it, if there's any left. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Team SG. We, we will let you know. But congratulations. Congrats, Those are guys. really beautiful, and you will love them. And like I said, it reminds me of our friend and mentor who died a couple of years ago, but yeah. um, had beautiful. And as night was smoky like that. Okay. Um, let's show them the blue calcite bowl. I would like them to see it, and then we'll move into uh, something else after that. So, really? Like, yeah. Yeah, sometimes with the bigger pieces, I like to show it to you early because it's a... Um, this is more of an investment, so something you may have to think about, although a lot of you saw it when I was live today on IGTV with the preview. Um, these bowls, there's kind of a long story to these bowls. These bowls are beautiful. Are stunning. I, I we, Oh, you can see the light through it. Like you can see how you can we see We have one in our hand. kitchen. Yeah. We put our fruit in it. We do. So we, we eat a lot of produce <laughs> in this house, and so this is what we use for our fruit bowl in the kitchen. And I love it. And it's easy to clean. Like I just, you know, once a week when I switch out all the produce, I take it out, I wipe it down really quickly with some warm water and soap, and it's in beautiful shape. So it is the ultimate fruit bowl. <laughs> or whatever you'd want to use it for. I mean, it's home decor, right? You could fill it full of seashells from all of your travels or, you know, put sand in there and some beautiful candles and use it as a centerpiece on your dining room table. It's absolutely beautiful. This is made out of blue Lemurian calcite from Argentina. But these pieces are carved in Mexico. And the people who carve them are amazing. Where amazing. they're carved, amazing. amazing. Like, you would fall in love and never want to come back, which is pretty much how I felt in September after coming back from Mexico watching them carve these pieces. I have a couple things from Mexico tonight, so my love affairs will be fully evident with tonight's gem sale. Okay, so we have six of these bowls. I swear to God, I just had, I just had it. All right, there. We have six of these bowls. They are about 20 to 24 inches in size. They're, it's almost two feet of bowl. Que viva. That's right. Aren't they beautiful? So um, I don't have a retail value of these. Our price is $19.99, $1,999, and I have six of them. Um, this size bowl is the biggest bowl that we have, I believe, in the Blue Lemurian um, I think so. calcite. Um, it's one quality on it's those. one continuous piece and it's translucent yeah translucent it is so absolutely beautiful so if you've been waiting i just don't have a lot of these i think this was everything in our warehouse in this size so if you're feeling connected to it and you would like one that's what these shows are all about aren't they beautiful yeah you can i mean in your bathroom can you imagine with towels 
You know what I mean? Like in your bathroom full of towels and washcloths and you know, I don't know how you would use it. You guys are very creative. But for me, it's in my kitchen and I love it because every morning when I go and get a banana or I grab an yeah. avocado, like, I mean, you know, we eat a lot of produce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's for the rich. It's, you know, I mean, some people really, really save up to buy something like this. And also, by the way. Some of these things, you know, are pieces of art. They're art. And it isn't something that you necessarily just get for yourself. Right. Right. You know, you pass it down. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those things. It's, it's, it's not like a car that, you know, you're going to run into the ground and replace in <laughs> five, true. seven years or whatever. It's you a know, lifelong It's thing. that thing that passes down generally, mm -hmm. generationally that you have from your grandma or, you know, something mm -hmm. like that. So that's, this, this is, this is, it's a big bite at the apple, you know, it's a big piece, um, but they don't come along often. Well, and some people come to the sales for these kinds of pieces because they know that we curate. So we have things from thirty nine dollars to right. nineteen hundred and ninety nine. So if you're new, this is the this is the part of Sage Goddess where the collectors come to gather some of the bigger pieces for their home. So we do supply those. What I'll say too is remember if you if you spend over a hundred dollars today, you can use Quad Pay, which breaks up your payment into four payments over six weeks. Which does so this takes that down to yeah, being you know five hundred dollars. Quad payment. payment may not work at this level. Oh, really? Yeah, it depends on I the individual. Yeah. Okay, may not. But you might have PayPal credit or, yeah, there's yeah, so something else to so, think about. Anyway, if yeah. it's for you and it's comfortable, these are amazing pieces. They yeah. don't come along often. Yeah. Uh, because the stone required to make this. Yeah, is the, the piece that this would have big. been made out of is two to three times and that size. It, you know, comes all the way over here, right? And then it has to be cut down <laughs> and hollowed out. And sliced and cut out more and so everything around this is lost yeah well it's interesting because um lee's asked what do they do with the insides so oh, yeah. we take all of the inside yeah. um the tumbled stone on our website is from the inside of this yeah. so when you buy tumbled lemurian blue calcite on sagegoddess.com it's the inside of that isn't that cool yeah. there isn't a single shred of waste we take the little tiny bits and those are chip stones we take the larger bits right and that becomes tumbled stone isn't that cool? Beautiful I love pieces. that. Brianna said she would make a succulent garden out of it. No, oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, I love it. All right. No, Caribbean calcite is different than yeah, Lemurian different. calcite. That comes from a different, I, do you know the country of origin? Pakistan. Pakistan for, okay, Caribbean calcite. And this one comes from Argentina. So it's, it's the same stone. Calcite is calcite. Um, but this is a different regionality. I'm glad you asked. So congratulations. Yeah, and that's going to be a, a lighter with more white in it. Yeah. Uh, can still have that aragonite in it, but mm -hmm. it's going to be more of a quartz to a, um, a lighter teal color, the Caribbean. The Caribbean water, kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, Cindy said she'd make a sink out of it. And you totally could. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. All you have to do is drill, and yeah. that becomes a sink for you, too. <laughs> Candace is like, what I'd miss? Well, uh, we're in the middle of blue Lemurian calcite bowls, but I just want to show them to you so that you know that they're there. Yeah. That's I think that might be the most expensive thing in the show, actually. So that's why I wanted to bring it up to you early, so that if you were thinking about it, you had time to, to consider whether you'd like. That's to actually about. a nice idea, because like if it, if it were me, I'd be like, okay, let me give me the a phone minute. down, give me, give a, minute. me a minute. Hey, babe, well, is it okay? Yeah. yeah. Or or hey, let me price check that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes absolutely. people do, and, yeah. and you are fully entitled to go and check the prices. Yeah. So I, I bring those things up early so that you have a chance to do that. When I'm shopping, I check. You know what I mean? I will tell you, we check everything here, too, so mm. you can feel confident, but just in case you want a second look. I like it. There you go. Okay. All right. All right. Um, next Congrats up, let's to the do... folks who get that. Yeah, I'm thrilled for you. And then I, mm. I really would like to know where you put it, so if you wouldn't mind, I just love to get pictures. Yeah. You know, so show me what you do with it. Oh my God. And Samantha got a Lemurian blue calcite skull. Nice. Do you remember those? Nice, those were nice, insane. Nice. So Samantha, we don't have those anymore. Yeah. <laughs> you got a rad piece. Uh, really happy for you. Oh, I'm so happy. And Deborah has a small girl. I Actually, it. I just saw a box yesterday or the day before. Not of skulls. Yes. Okay, um, I didn't get one when we had them. Uh, well, and, and these are um, they're oh about God. this big, I think. Um, Seriously? Yeah, and I just, I just, we're cleaning out, and I just came across this. We're so moving. When you said that, I'm like, actually. Yeah. yeah, we did not have many, and I, Samantha, I think they were larger, the ones that you got. Yeah, I think yours were bigger. Yeah, these Samantha, are, if, I, if I'm recalling, Samantha, yours was like, 
I don't know, big though, like that, right? Those were crazy. These are, might be smaller, but we're moving and we're finding stuff that we didn't know we had. You know, like when you move your house and all of a sudden you're like, oh, grandma's dishes or whatever. Turns out they were in that cabinet the whole time. That's kind of what's happening to us right now. I uh, moved to the sofa in my office. <laughs> Did you see Denise? <laughs> She's like, get out those skulls. Uh, I moved the sofa in the office to, to touch up the wall, yeah. you know, behind the yeah. wall. And um, there's just candy wrappers underneath from the kids because they play behind they do hide and seek in his office so that's really <laughs> funny there's a bunch of shit behind there it's horrible. and then i know in the classroom under the day bed they used to lay under there when they were oh, teeny yeah. tiny and yeah. eat cookies and shit yeah and they never brought the wrappers out i am so convinced there's like i don't know an, a family of animals living inside there yeah Okay. Yeah, Deborah wants us to commit to the Skulls next gym sale. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what we can do. You gotta go through uh, that. Well, we listen. If they're there, we will get them to you. Um, okay, we do have some medicine bags. Somebody was asking about the medicine bag. Do you want to grab uh, that? Sure. That's in there. This is really cool, actually. Are you These doing are with the Palo Santo. Yeah, it all goes in there. Oh. <laughs> he loves Palo Santo. So these are really fun. This is. Um, so these are. Team SG, correct me if I'm wrong, I think these are Guatemalan bags. I'm pretty sure these are Guatemalan, but they might be, um, you correct me if I'm wrong. They're either Guatemalan or they're Peruvian, but I think they're Guatemalan. Anyway, um, we can't really do a lot of surprise bags like we used to, because I just don't have my team. Like Alexis is working from home and it's just, it's kind of, it's unwieldy right now because we're all spread apart. And it makes us sad because we loved making surprise bags for you guys. It was really fun. So anyway, the best we could do are our medicine bags, and I only have two of them. Um, and so this is going to be, you're going to get the bag, which is actually a crossbody bag. It's hey, Nick, Nick. Bag. Nick Pawakas. No way. Hi, Nick. Aw. Love you, Nick. I was just bragging on you, and what a great job you did setting up our AV. That's my, that's my boy in there. He is a... You're not allowed to bid. He's a Fortnite champion. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're getting all the love, Nick. Okay, anyway. Um, so, the, I only so have two good. of these. I know, you have a fetish with the placenta. It's okay. No, Stephanie's like, I'm late to the party. You're fine. You're never late to the party. The party keeps going. Okay, so anyway, these bags are filled with um, all kinds of good stuff. What you stuff. got? What you got? In okay, there? so this one has two different bottles of perfume. <laughs> it's in my magic bag. Um, it has a red tourmaline sphere. It has three different types of smudge and a selenite stick. And you get the bag. Yeah, but you didn't show the, the spheres. Oh, I didn't show the sphere. No. Here, you do that. It's okay. like off camera. You do that and I'll show the smoke. There's a beautiful sphere in there, folks. No, Just it's, look a, at it's it a rubellite red tourmaline and smoky quartz and moonstone base. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So anyway, all this stuff comes together in your bag. The retail value of the whole bag together is about $150. In some cases, it'll be closer to $175, but we're asking $100. So you get the bag and everything in it. That's pretty. It's um, in heart. Yeah. And I have two. Little heart there. Oh, look at that. It's a little uh, red tourmaline heart. Isn't that cute? You will love this bag, by the way. I'm obsessed with these bags. So here's how it works. Ready? It's adjustable. So it's going to come to you and you're going to be like, did Athena send me a broken bag? I did not. It's got one long strap. So it just a, contact a Kevin. No. No. <laughs> Don't contact Kevin. This is not a Kevin situation. Poor Kevin. Kevin tries to solve the problems of the world. He really does. He does. Okay. I love you, Kevin. If you're watching, <laughs> I really appreciate you. Um, uh, so you put it through the loop and you tie it up wherever you want it. And that's so that it completely fits you. I'm 5'2 when the wind is blowing, right? I'm really like 5'1. So this bag has to be short for it to be a crossbody for me. If you're a nice tall person, lucky ducks, then you don't want to tie your bag. <laughs> At the same height as me. Kevin honestly is a, is is going to be eligible for sainthood. <laughs> One day it'll be like, and today is the feast day of Saint Kevin. Saint Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin is the finder of all things and a saint in the Catholic canon. Are you five three, Annette? See, look at you. See, I'd be looking up at you. Hi, Annette, from down here at five one. 
anyway, cheers. I don't know how this became a, a fan fest for Kevin, but I really do appreciate Kevin every day. <laughs> we threw him under the bus again. <laughs> no, I don't throw Kevin under the bus. Kevin is Kevin is the. Ooh, I don't even know how to describe him. Look at the cutie pie little fringe on the bottom too. So these are the bags I take to Tucson or anywhere where, because I will tell you something. I should probably do a video about this. I can fit my whole life in this bag. I have learned how to fit all my makeup, my phone, my all my situations, my smudging, my matches, my this, my that, my wallet, my everything into this bag. So enjoy. I'm really excited for you. See, Denise is 5'10". You have a selling stick going. Did you put that it's in, in there, there too? Yeah, oh, I did. Okay. I would be your pocket pal, Denise. I'd be your fairy friend. <laughs> You can put your arm around me. <laughs> See, Jackie's Jackie's on my 5-1 team. That's all right. Um, did it sell before I posted? I don't think so. I saw them put the price up. Do we have any left? How many did we have? We only had two. Oh, Jesus. Well, sorry. I don't know. I hate that. I hate it when we only have two or something. It drives me nuts. It's all we can do right now, dude. It's a pandemic. Enough with your COVID excuses. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like that? Seriously, like you know at the same you know at the same time that like yeah, no, COVID's messed it all up. But at the on the other side of it, you're like, I'm just so tired of that as you know. I'm tired of it. Yeah. And Chris is like, dude. <laughs> dude. Well put. Tired. Well put. Tired. <laughs> Easy tired. there, Barbara. I oh, yeah. <laughs> We put on our lip gloss and we keep on trucking. Yeah, we everybody. keep on going, <laughs> damn it! I am. I'm like your. I'm like your fun size Snickers. Kind of. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm looking at them. I'm a fun size Snickers. Like the little, the yeah, little, little, yeah. Ones, I got, yeah. No, I know. I got where you go. <laughs> the ones you put in the freezer. It's not going anywhere good. No. Okay. Um, I'm, that, I'm trying to think of a more appropriate fun size candy. You want to put it, talk about jewelry? <laughs> is it because she's nuts? No. You know what's really nice is if, if someone came along and said, you know what, that lady you watch on YouTube sometimes, I think she's nuts. You know what you would say? She absolutely is. Who, me? <laughs> Or anybody. <laughs> but it's not like anybody can, can make fun of me or, or criticize me because I would say, no, they're absolutely right. I think I'm nuts. Honestly, we're all nuts. Come on. I mean, seriously. No. Like, the, the idea of normalcy is boring, right? The idea <laughs> of normalcy is, like, what, what is that anyway? Look at their comments. I'm a junior mint. That's yeah, awesome. You're a junior mint. Oh, and man. Then Shannon, Shannon Southern said, this is my first time. I'm having fun. She so forget out. spirit animals. We're doing fun size candy now, right? Like, <laughs> this is a whole new set of cards. Get ready, marketing. Get ready, Claire. No, but fun size no, candy. No, but I'm actually really you? serious. Because sometimes people can critique people and be like, "Well, she's nuts. She's crazy." I'd be like, "You are correct." Take the criticism away from people, man. And if you think that's bad, you can't be my friend. Okay. Anyway, Twix bar. I'm into it. See, Tropical I'm, Skittles. Yeah. Fun dip. Ooh, Carissa says I like fun dip. the Skittles. Yes. No, fun dip. Did you do fun dip? Fun dip actually tasted like crap. Is that the thing that's in the packet with the stick? Yeah. I remember the stick tasted terrible. Yes. The lick em sticks or dip, fun dip. So that you would dip it in. The powder was good. But it's like, a kid no. friendly. Keep it clean. We're talking about candy. Oh, I was too. Okay. Next. Um, smudging dishes. Honey calcite smudging bowls. <laughs> Did you really, Lindsay Newton? I love that. There were two pals. Jillian sticks. says her dad thinks I'm a hottie. I love that. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jillian's dad. I bet Jillian's dad is cute, too. There are two Palo Santo sticks on this. No, they get one, I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. You want to show them? I'm obsessed with this. I will tell you, we have seven, and it's a crazy price. I want one. Oh, Palo Santo. No, put that back. You don't throw things like that. Sorry. I like Palo Santo. I'm Who not a, throws I'm not a sage? fan of sage. Okay, but you don't throw it. That was a toss. It was that a was gentle... a sacred offering. You a, don't do that. I was offering it to the back to the earth. What do you guys think about him throwing sage? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? 
Give it to him, everybody. Give it to me. Because they're laughing. Give it to me. (laughs) (laughs) They're afraid for you. I literally was like, oh, no, he didn't just do that. Oh. Yeah, he's fired. Tammy says you're fired. (laughs) Oh. Okay. Yes. They're trying to help you, Dave. There's seven of these. So I'm going to teach you. So honey calcite, this is honey calcite. I love honey honey calcite. Honey calcite comes from Mexico. This is one of our, I think, four offerings from Mexico tonight. These are the most gorgeous honey calcite hearts I've ever seen. If we had more, I would keep one. They're I'm beautiful, letting, right? I'm sending them all through. This is heavy. If you're committing to this, Angela wants to see me spank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's that, later. That's the after party. Um, somebody asked last night if I spank you with my rattle. <laughs> I was like, no, but that's a good idea. Okay, moving okay. along. Okay, this is going to be an awkward segue. Are you ready? It's really awkward. Um, honey calcite is the stone that helps you heal your relationship with your mother. It's a weird segue from spanking your husband that was horrible. to your relationship with your mother. Maybe because it's a soap dish and she washed no, your mouth no, out with soap. No. Okay. No, it's just awkward and I can't make it better. So this is the this is the stone that you work with when you did not get what you needed from your mom and you want to heal that. I don't know how to make that easier for you. So that's what that stone is about. So it's <laughs> it's the stone of unconditional love and nurturing, which is what we're supposed to get from our mothers in a perfect world. Some of us don't. Whatever, at least I said it right, Steph. So I prepared you for the awkward. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> No, but Andrew knows. I mean, Andrew's been around for a while. He, he understands what's happening here today. Andrew's no stranger to the, to the weird. All right, this is five and a half inches. It comes with the white sage and Palo Santo, a non-thrown sage bundle for you, and a Palo Santo stick. These are $49, and I have seven of them. One of the things I like about this is a lot of times you get soap dishes like this, um, and they're thin. They're thin. But look how thick mm-hmm. that is. I mean, that is that is hearty. And it's and it's like rounded on the bottom. It's yeah. really nicely done. And see how done. they brought it down. Oh, I don't know if you can really see it. Kind of it slopes down here. Isn't it beautiful? It's not just flat. Mm-hmm. Um, so it actually sits up quite nicely. It almost looks like carnelian, but it's calcite. It almost does. It but is. It, but it's, it's fiery calcite. enough. Do you see the banding? It's absolutely beautiful. So enjoy. Really, really, really. Yeah, it kind of said thick with three C's. That's right. Very nice. And although it comes with a mini smudge bundle, it at least comes with Palo Santo, so. Sage goddess. I know, I just, I just, ah, oh, it's so bad. He doesn't like white sage. It's fine. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too bad for him. I burn white sage a hundred times a day, so... Suck it up, Buttercup. If I if I'm if I'm like, <laughs> I I think there's a conspiracy at the company that if they want yeah. me to like leave a room or something, they like they light the sage and yeah. it's like you like because nobody really wants like you know the boss around for too too long, right? Like, no, so. no, no, please keep telling no, us more. Yeah, quick, yeah, quick, quick, like, quick. <laughs> just cough. <laughs> no, he's used to it. He just doesn't like it. Okay. The mask actually helps with this for me. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time he wears the mask yeah. in the house. <laughs> and you know me, like I overdo it sometimes with the sage, so. Aw, oh, Lorianne. <laughs> Glad you had a good relationship Aww. with your mom. Aw, look at that. Tomorrow would have been Lorianne, Lorianne's mom's birthday. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday to your mom in heaven, Lorianne. Um, I honestly, I love my mom. I wouldn't change it. You know, she and I have had our challenges over the years, but I'm the person I am because of my mom and my dad. So I, um, I really give my parents a lot of credit. You know what's really cool is my, my parents were not really formally educated people, um, but they really were committed to education and um, really committed to vocabulary. I think that's one of the reasons that I love words so much is my mom would put words on the wall and my dad was constantly teaching me like the Greek roots of words. And so that's one of the main gifts my parents gave me was a love of language, I have to say. He wants me to shut up. Yeah, Jessica has shadow work to do involving your mom. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of us do, you know what I mean? So, and I see you. 
Yeah, some of you know my dad, which is really sweet. You've gotten a chance to interact with him. My dad is an amazing human. Nick's yeah. cool. Murray finally likes me. A little. My mom's come around. It was hard for my mom because he was... <laughs> no, my Dave is younger than me and he's Jewish. And my mom, you know, my mom is Christian. Like, it was hard for her. Like, sometimes the religious thing is like a thing sometimes. <clears throat> but honestly, my, my parents have both come around because you're the best dad and husband mm, I, I could have married. And mm. they know it. I won the husband jackpot. I really did. But thank you, Michelle. You're going to make me cry, Michelle. Isn't he great? Oh, my dad. He turned 80 last month. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, All right. moving on. Moving on. I can Come on. I, honestly, I think we just want to pretend this is bingo and not talk about stones anymore. Hannah's, okay? <laughs> Hannah's like, great. Love your dad. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm in kind of a chatty mood, but it was a full moon in Aquarius, and I don't get out much, so I like to talk. And did I... anybody else sleep like shit two nights ago? Because I sure did. It was the, this full moon was not good for sleep. My, I was fitful for me last night too. Thank you, Saya. She said you. She said you won the um, wife lottery. And I Sharon, sure did. Sharon agrees that I won the husband lottery. We, we're very lucky people. Absolutely. Yeah, and Moving a lot. Of, a lot of you have won the lottery too, by the way. Um, let's do the Celeste clusters. Hannah, great, you won the lottery. Moving on. Hannah's not really like that. No, she's not. It's kind of weird that you say that. I'm just picking. Honestly, on. Alexis is a little more like that than Hannah. Claire. Sometimes. Oh, Claire is super. Claire. Like that. <laughs> Claire. Claire is straight up cutting herself right now at the tension for this. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> uh, but listen, if you have to <laughs> look at Daisy yelling, Claire. Oh, I if, love Claire though. She keeps us. Like, you can, know. can you imagine having to be my boss? <laughs> Claire's my boss. And what a nightmare. And I drove her nuts all day. I bothered Claire all day today. So she's probably somewhere. She probably is like close to cutting. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. Sorry, Claire. Okay. All right. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. Cheerio, darling. Cheerio. I know, we haven't even had our wine yet. What's up? <laughs> come on, come on. I'm very sober right now. Okay. Um, I'm trying. I want to I wanna talk about the Celestite. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I do. No, con trying to control me is like to try to control a let's, feral damn cat. Let's move. <laughs> move some of this. You can't do it. Like... Oh. No, sorry. I, I should not have joked about the cutting. And Melanie Heim, you are correct. Actually, it was me. I'm sorry. It was him who got me started, and I'm totally not okay with that. It is a very serious issue. It is. I apologize. Sorry. Sometimes in our joking, Melanie, we go a little bit over the line, and I shouldn't have said that, and I apologize. It was me. I do need a censorship situation sometimes, honestly. I do my best, and I, I'm feral. I so. cut myself on that thing. Did you really? I did. It's because you made that joke, and Except it wasn't appropriate. You know what? And I didn't even mean it like that as a, anyway. I seriously did. We said that we, I won't repeat it, but Doesn't matter. we weren't really joking about it. We were saying that we're driving our boss crazy. We're driving her nuts. Sorry. I you really want me to pick this one up? Well, I don't know. Now you're, now you're cutting yourself on stuff. <laughs> Take that for what it's worth. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? No. <laughs> I'm not. Okay, we have two different sizes of Celestite, everybody. Oh, we're going to do the big first. Stacy likes your socks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you ready? Um, big? Medium. No, this is big. Oh, this is the large? Okay, that's the 11 to 12 inch large. We have four of those. I'll, t I'll teach you in a minute, okay? 11 to 12 inch large, we have four. Oh. By the way, that ships for free in the U.S. <laughs> it's a weird time to tell you that, but... Hmm. Oh, goodness gracious me. Okay. This is... Oh, heavy. The medium. These are nine inches. We have 13 of these. Okay. Um, is there a way to show that on a close-up? They've seen the size now. They know it's sky heaven, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. Celestite. Celestite. Okay. 
Celestite comes from Madagascar. And, um, you know, just like we talk about the people in Brazil, we talk about the people in Mexico, people in Madagascar, incredibly beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful land, by the way. So Madagascar, um, what's amazing about these, these are celestite geodes with fully formed crystals inside of them. Honking okay. crystals. Uh, they're all terminated. Do you see where he was just tapping? So each one of those is a naturally terminated crystal. Like those aren't broken pieces, right? This isn't actually just a cut open. It's like an egg of celestite. Uh, celestite um, in its tumbled form is known as angelite. Are you familiar with angelite? Same as metaphysical properties, connects you with the angelic realm. Um, really does support you in developing a deeper sense of peace. We have a geode like this in the classroom at Sage Goddess, and that's the reason why. I always wanted to anchor that sort of angelic, beautiful throat chakra um, because it helps you to speak and move and articulate from a place of really deep peace. Aren't they gorgeous? Well, it looks different because this is the... Think about the color more than the texture. I love you, but you you, you, you got to get to the, the, the uh, quantity okay. and the price. Okay, okay sorry. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah. okay. Just keep holding it. Just um, keep more. So the medium size, nine inches. I have thirteen. They're three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Medium. This is the medium. Nine inches. Three hundred ninety nine dollars. Oh yeah. Um, large, eleven to twelve inches. I have four of them. Four hundred and ninety nine dollars. So they're one hundred dollars apart. They're two and a half to three inches apart. Isn't that cool? So again, the really big one is $4.99. The medium size one is $3.99. And they um, ship yeah. free. And they ship free. And they would ship for a lot, a lot. <laughs> They're $5, by the way, shipping if you're outside the US. So I just want to make sure that's clear. So if you're in the US, everything ships for free. If you're outside the US, then it's $5 per item. Did you see the post? Hold the door, Dave. No. Hold door. Hold door. Oh, hold door, hold door, hold door, <laughs> yeah, hold door. Not funny. All right, I'm gonna put this sucker down. Okay. Aw, thanks, you guys. <sighs> so great to see you. It's really nice to have you. Um, Denise says it's like the egg baby gems hatch from. <laughs> it's really true. He worked hard. I'm gonna give him a break now. He did such a good job. Yeah. Anybody else miss Game of Thrones? Oh, I miss it so much. I don't know if I could take that show right now. Honestly, the last season sucked so bad and, and was like such a disappointment. The writing was not there. Um, but it's okay because at least we had Vikings and now we don't have Vikings or Game of Thrones. I don't know what to do about that. It was kind of our life for a little while. Yeah. Okay. And you want to redo? I know. That, that last season, I, was, I literally remember just sitting there going, nope, nope, and nope. This is not how this ends. <laughs> like, nope. I'm a writer. I just want to rewrite it, like in the moment. Like, no, no, no. I hire me. I will redo this. I'll do better. But Alexis and I have issues with the endings of movies, right? We don't have to take this into this direction right now. But like, some kind of wonderful. Or is it, no, Pretty in Pink. And I still haven't gotten to my book yet, by the way, because I've just been so busy. But I'm going to. Um, the 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 ending to Pretty in Pink in the book is different than the ending to Pretty in Pink in the movie. And she, for she, you know, that's one of our favorite movies of all time. So. Um, after I'm done reading the book, then she and I are gonna discuss the different ending to Pretty in Pink in the book versus the movie. Because it wasn't good in the movie, right? So there's a different ending in the book. And so Alexis and I are going to have a lengthy, probably six or eight hour conversation about that. <laughs> okay. Pretty in Pink. She should have been with Ducky. Whatever. Okay. okay. Let's talk about jewelry. Can we talk about jewelry? Can I have those, uh, the rings on the farthest left? There's three of them in three different sizes. Let me find what number that is. Last Kingdom. I don't know if I've seen Last Kingdom. Have we seen Last Kingdom? I don't think I've seen it. Actually, uh, I think I've seen it. I don't think you watched it, though. There's a lot of things that he watches. Actually, I'll leave these with you because you got to show them, and then I'll put one on later. Um, there's a lot of things that he watches. I didn't have the, the attention span for Outlander. Is it Outlander? I couldn't do it. It was too Celtic for me. I don't know what it was with Outlander, but it just wasn't my jam. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I can't. I can't with the notes and the and the listing. Um, I have three different sizes: small, medium, and large. Okay, I have eight of the small, 
which is his middle finger. I have 10 of the medium ring finger. Mm, oh, mm, you sure? Mm, no, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. I think it's and then I have four of the large. Large. So okay. I'm going to do this. Yeah, wait till you hear. Okay, I'm so excited about this. I wish I had more of them because it's one of my favorite things I brought you and they just didn't have any more. This is Porcelain Jasper. It's a crappy name. You know where this comes from? Sonora. This is from the Sonoran Mountains in northern Mexico, which is one of my favorite parts of Mexico. I love the whole country, but Sonora has a special energy to it. Sonora is right south of Tucson. Um, and so Sonoran Jasper is um, one of the most powerful stones for bringing peace into your present circumstances. Isn't that cool? Those are open on the back, by the way, sterling silver, and they are adjustable. So yeah, it's not a great name. I mean, Porcelain Jasper doesn't get you excited. Sonoran Peace Jasper, now I'm ready for this. Um, Sonora is a really interesting part of Mexico. It's, it's you know, if you think about it, Sonoran food, there's an entirely, entirely different cuisine in, in the north of Mexico. Um, a lot of expertise when it comes to the cuisine of the country. Uh, the people of Sonora are incredibly hardworking and the entire region is beautiful. Almost everything flourishes in Sonora. Um, so whatever you want to grow in that area, it's just, it's, it's, it's an incredibly powerful area. I consider it to be a vortex. There's some off limits parts of Sonora. I think the, um, Zona de Silencio is in Sonora, isn't it? What am I doing? Uh, I don't know. No way. Deanna's, uh, Nano is from Sonora. Okay. So every time I, well, there's peyote there too. <laughs> so that, that's always good. That makes it a good place for me. Um, okay. So. Are you ready for me to tell you the price? So I have eight small, they're $49. I have 10 medium, they're $59. And I have four large, they're $69. And that's all I have of Sonoran Peace Jasper. I would have gotten more if I could. And you can feel that energy there. There's something about being out in sort of the, the arid dry lands of Mexico. It heals my soul. But you know, I mean, that's when you think about, you know, those lands and, and who's occupied them. I mean, the 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 lineage of ancient Mexico is is steeped in healing and transformation and alchemy of all kinds, ceremony of all kinds. Right. And, and really transcendental um, healing and, and power. So there's something really special about it. OK, Ashley Sager has the best idea right now. Team SG, are you seeing this? We do need toe rings. We really do. Okay. Am I the model for those two? Because this can get real weird, folks. We'll, we'll just do a... By the way, we didn't... We'll do I don't know that we said that they're adjustable. Yeah, so these... So you can and pinch them... And that there's them. an open back. Semi-open back. Well, it's open as, as much as they usually are. Yeah, but the setting on this is nice. See how it goes? I mean, it's really secure. It's like secure. an hourglass, yeah, actually. Yeah. yeah. So you can pinch these down to about a size, like, three and a half, and you can open them up to about a size ten, right? Yes, on toe rings. What would you want on a toe ring? A toe? I have a toe ring with bad words on it. A toe? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I actually, I wore that toe ring forever before my kids could read. Because you know, Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. And when I would go to get a pedicure. Right. They'd like start to look down at it, and right? And then they and... would like giggle. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh. <laughs> Did it say like. F off or something? It said F off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have it. But you couldn't read it from a distance. So you'd look down and you'd be like, they'd be oh, that's to, a they'd very be pretty... To oh. oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to get that one for you. I bought that one on Etsy a long time ago. I just thought it was funny. I'm irreverent. What can I say? It's part of my charm. Well, I'm looking forward to modeling the toe ring collection for you guys. <laughs> Your toes are, you know, your toes are okay. They're okay. I mean, they're not like model toes. He can curl his toes. She thinks that's a feat. No, I've never seen anybody it's in my whole not. life who can curl his toes. It's not a talent. I'm not winning the trophy. But you can't. For he it. can't curl his tongue. Oh, you can. Oh, it's not a good one though. You gotta go full taco. I can't do that. No. Can you guys do it? She always makes fun of the fact that I'm tongue-tied. <laughs> You're not tongue-tied. <laughs> He's not. But he can curl his toes up. Can you do that? 
It's so weird. It's like a like an animal who has to climb a tree. Can you do it too? I think it's a survival skill. I think maybe his ancestors. Is this like the back fur? <laughs> this is like the back fur. She's got this like whole theory around the fur on my back. He has a little bit of hair in these little pockets on his back, and he's his on his dad's side, he's Hungarian. So I always joke, like if he was out in the snow, his back would stay warm. Because it would stop the air from going down. It's my theory. Like where the jacket part. I Everything know. has evolutionary benefit, right? So his back fur is so that his in his country, <clears throat> during the long winters, he would have his back would have stayed warm. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. That's fine. Snatching your dinner out of the ocean. <laughs> That's how evolution works. My people needed a full taco, but they didn't need to bend the toes. That's okay. <laughs> Look at that. Esther is Hungarian. Kayla's Hungarian. Look, Nicole can make her boob stance. That's, you know. <laughs> you know there's Welcome to the Asian There's Asian hidden talents right? in each of us. Tracy right? can touch her nose with her tongue. That's impressive. Angela wants smoky quartz. Okay, moving right along. Thank you, Angela. Will you grab all the smoky for me while I start talking about it? Okay. <laughs> Lady Kyra's husband has web toes. He should come and model with me the toe rings. Right? A Annette, I'm not going to be able to help you. This is my world. See, Lori's dad had a furry back. My dad has some hair on his back. I think it's kind of a Mediterranean, Eastern European kind of thing. I mean, I find it somewhat sexy. All the cool guys are doing it. Whatever you have, I think it's cute. But you do have these little puffs, you know? These little puffers. The problem is it's not complete, you know? It's more like a... Sharon's worried she's going to miss the jewelry because we're dilly-dallying. Let's get going. I mean, she didn't say that, but no, you said she I got, said... I got no. you, Sharon. I got you. No. Sharon did not say we're dilly-dallying. I said that, but she's worried she's going to miss the jewelry. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about smoky quartz, and we'll talk about some jewelry. Let's talk about smoky quartz. Okay. Smoky quartz is number what? Oh. Bye. Nope. I've got it. Yeah, she's got to leave it a bit. Um, Sharon, is there something in particular you were looking for that we can prioritize that for you? Can you let me know? Sharon's, Sharon's one of my one of my peeps. She's been around a long time. Okay, we have three different sizes of smoky quartz. The, the small, which, um, that's, oh. yes, let's start with the sizes. So that's the small, four to five inches is the small. Tanzanite, okay, I've got you. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So Look at that. these are natural pieces of smoky quartz from Brazil. Um, I tried to bring you bigger pieces. Smoky quartz is the most important transmutation stone you can work this with. This flipping Meaning rocks. Extracting, extracting unwanted energy from the field. You have to have smoky quartz near your front door. You have to have smoky quartz in your sacred space. It's got to be where you meditate. Um, and so if you don't have a good piece of it, what I'm excited about is none of this is over $100. Even the largest pieces are not. And so Wait, you're going to get a really beautiful piece tonight at an amazing price. Is there rutil in it? You're the, he's the rutil spire. No, but uh, I think it's a phantom. Are they phantom? No. Uh, this one looks like it is. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm looking at this and I'm like, uh, no, wait a minute. These could be. I don't know. If they are, then you got a bonus because we weren't pricing them as phantoms. They they look like it though. Yeah. Okay. No, maybe not. Well, maybe I don't know. Not. You look down the line at some of those. They I all, not, they all you know like something. They it's something. There is something going on inside of them. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Um, so protection grounding. Yeah, they're little smokies. Weren't there like little Vienna sausages that used to be called little smokies? That didn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> do you know when i was like four years old i ate nothing but vienna sausages for six months seriously yeah i wouldn't eat anything else that explains what happened to my brain and why i'm not normal feed so, your kid vienna sausages anyway, see what happens okay yeah um so we have four to five inches with this which is the small five to six inches which is the medium it's holidays food <laughs> they're gross you guys don't even ask i wouldn't eat it now and then the large are six to seven inches I fed Dave before the sale. Now, so these do not stand I am up. getting hungry, though. Yeah, no, but I fed you specifically so you wouldn't be munching and crunching. These are all natural pieces, so they, do, they are not flat on the bottom, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> so, but do you see the line? It's not, a, it's not a hard line phantom, but there's some kind there's of like, something there's something on. bubbling up inside. So they're darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. They're really cool, you guys. 
Okay, so the small I have, like I said, I have 21 of them. The retail value on the small for us is 99. Our price tonight is 69. Those are four to five inches. The medium five to six inches, our real retail price is 119. They're 79 dollars tonight. So it's 69, 79, and then the six to seven inch is 89 dollars. So they're 10 dollars apart by the size. Isn't that cool? To get a really cool piece like that and not have to pay, you know, shipping if you're in the U.S. or five bucks, it's a really good deal because these are big, heavy pieces of smoky. Yeah, beautiful. And and it's something that you have to have. I like to carry the kind of the basics sometimes. I wish I had more of them. It's actually not that easy to get big pieces of smoky quartz out of Brazil. You because they want to work easier. it. They want to work it into other things. That's the problem. Yeah, I, I do think it's more profitable for them to that's, carve it. That's the thing. You know, or maybe to that's tumble it. They can they can take this and then they can cut it into, you know, Many three things. or four other things and and sell each of those for. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, yeah. So I mean, we don't often find them, so it's really exciting. Look at some of the patterns on that. Can you see that? Yeah, there's etchings and different things yeah. on the sides. It's really yeah. beautiful. Some of them have shaman portals. Um, can you show them this right there? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to teach you really quickly about something that you might find in your quartz points. So go through your collection. If you have an indentation, turn it on its side if you can. Um, that is, that is, you can tell it's not broken, right? That's an etching in the quartz because it's angular and geometric. If it's deep enough to hold a drop of water right. on its side. Right there. Yeah. If it's deep enough like that one is to hold a drop of water, it's called a shaman portal, and you can journey into that. That's that's usually considered a more there's two of them. powerful piece. There's one on that side, and there's one on the other side here. There's a ton of shaman portals on all of these pieces. Like, that one has a portal, that one has a portal, this one has a portal, that one has a portal. Yeah, check this out. I don't think you're going to get a piece without a shaman portal. Oh, look at that. And then those markings on it, those little divots and pockets, are called eluvial um, alluvial imprinting and so that's actually water that creates those little tiny demarcations on it so it's I like to teach you while we go some people call it a keyhole Esther I call it a shaman portal um, yeah and then the little tiny like the little like almost freckly looking things are alluvial deposits pretty that's neat cool, I mean huh? those those quartz goes through a lot to get from the center of the earth to your hands it's a lot of rough conditions, exposure to water, exposure to elements for hundreds, millions of years, right? And so, anyway, enjoy. These are like Coca-Cola points. Yeah, these are cool. Mm-hmm. Now you got me hungry. Um, Illuvial is I-L-L-U-V-I-A-L. Illuvial. Darling. Fancy, fancy. Okay, let's talk tan tonight, because I've got, um, I've got uh, Sharon Linden who needs to go. I got you with some tan tonight. Tonight. Let me see how many of these we have. One. No, I know we at least have two. Well, thank you, Larissa. I did my hair. She said I'm looking pretty today. You look good today. Really? Is my shirt okay today? Is it your most exciting shirt ever? Mm, no. Is it cute? Sure. I have a new shirt in the cart. I just have to check out. Okay, I've got it. I have. Oh my god, I have 50 of these. Well, there you go. If you want one of these, you'll be able to get one today, I think. 50 is a pretty good quantity. Sharon Linden, you there? Okay. Um, this is tanzanite. These are tanzanite crystals with a quartz point. You see Very that? nice quartz point. Yeah, I mean, these are really beautifully done. These are done in sterling silver, oh. and then it will show you on the back they're open. It's so cool. Come on. Come on, camera. Isn't that cool? Can you show them the back of one of the tanzanites? I'm picky about jewelry being open on the back, and it's got a big bail. And this isn't like flimsy sterling silver. This is really nicely done. Tanzanite, that blue stone, comes from Tanzania, Africa. It's a member of the Synergy 12, which are considered the 12 most important stones for spiritual ascension on the planet at this time. And it activates and um, opens the third eye. Really powerful stone for intuition. It's rarer than diamond tanzanite at this point in our planet's geology. Um, and the reason we don't talk about it a lot with intuition is most people don't have it. So it's one of the least common of the intuitive stones. I'll, I'll give you the quick story of how tanzanite formed on the planet. So there was a storm in Tanzania, Africa um, at the base of Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, it was an incredibly powerful storm. And so most of the villagers left. Um, lightning struck the mountain at the base of the Mount, Mount Kilimanjaro. Lightning struck, penetrated the mountain, 
When the villagers came back, they saw these blue crystals all over the ground. The lightning had actually gone into Mount Kilimanjaro, and as the lightning bolts came out, they extracted tanzanite from the mountain, or we would never have it. So the villagers started to celebrate. They thought this was a blessing from God, and in fact it was, because tanzanite now supports the entire economy of Tanzania. Isn't it incredible? They're, they're pendants. Somebody was saying, can they be used as a pendant, I think? They are pendants. Yeah. Um, pendulum, maybe? Oh, pendulum. Yeah. Maybe I'm So Nicole Ross, 3,000%, you put that on a chain, you've got a pendulum. Are you sure those aren't laser etched? Uh, they could be laser yeah, points. Yeah, they mean, are. Are they? Yeah. yeah. You see the... Yeah, I do see the... the yeah, it yeah. might. Yeah, these might be laser points from Brazil. They're nice. Ah, probably. there we yeah. go. Aren't they beautiful? Got okay, the are shot you ready? There. So... Intuition, power, serendipity, nature's nature's force of lightning and, and magic that produced this gemstone on our planet. Um, so I have 50 of these. The retail value is 119. Our price is $79 for tanzanite and quartz. Isn't it beautiful? Let me show them one on my like sort of closer up so they can see how that would look. It's actually the perfect size, isn't it? It'd be cool to make a headpiece, wouldn't it? <laughs> that screenshot will go around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited if you're getting one. I think they're so beautiful. I literally was like screaming when I saw these because they're just, you know, you see a lot of sterling silver jewelry. These are really well done. Like the cap on that quartz is solid. The bezel around that tanzanite is solid. It's a really beautifully done piece of jewelry. You'll wear this for a long time. And I think it's a, it'll be a very accurate pendulum for you if you if you choose to use it that way. Wouldn't it be a cool headpiece? Aaron Elliott, are you gonna do it? Should I get a snack? No. No. <laughs> no. It got me hungry earlier talking about the Skittles. You had lunch. I know, but I shared the burger with Zoe. That wasn't that was a personal choice that you made. She hadn't eaten. <laughs> so so in one way it was a personal choice and the other way it was a parenting choice. They want to they want to hear about laser etching. You want to teach them about laser etching? Yeah. Take it, Dave. All right, you ready? You ready? He's gonna teach you something. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. What are you showing them, babe? I'm trying to I'm trying to show them the laser. Hmm. The lines, little lines on the on the crystal. They're finer than Lemurian lines. I can't laser show it. Lines. Yeah. Laser lines are not so. There's Lemurian lines and laser lines. Laser lines are finer, and they're on all sides. I can't show it of the crystal. In my experience, give the man a snack. <laughs> give the man yes. Yeah, yeah. Laser lines are a natural formation. They're etched by nature. Are there any Smokies left? We'll let you know. Yep, kind of see it. You You're start to see that. Hungry. <laughs> it's right at the Mac. You just need some wine. Did someone say New Zealand? Anyway, I can't. I can't really show them. Sorry, but they're there. It's pretty cool. I'm so happy you're here, looking at Mac. Shall you send us charcuterie, darling? Please. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yes. Um, yeah, it's fun, isn't it? And laser points um, sometimes have a little, like a little sound that they make, like a little special like ding when you touch them together. Oh. Yeah, Diamantina are like ding, 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 ding. They're almost like musical instruments, right? Okay. Oh, it's so great to see you guys. All right, so I, following up, so we, 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 I think we satisfied Sharon Linden if she wanted one. Now we're going to satisfy Annette Chastain. She'd like What's to talk about Sugilite, uh, Sugilite jewelry. Sugilite. <laughs> We have, okay, so we have Sujolite rings, Sujolite necklaces, and Sujolite bracelets tonight. It is a Sujolite palooza. Um, Which one do you just want to start with the rings? Oh, thank you, Larissa. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's start with rings, shall we? And then we can finish your wardrobe. So if you want, yeah, Hillary's like, Sujolite. 
Now these, um, these are adjustable. Yeah, these are the same. So all of our rings mm -hmm. are the same. They're adjustable, they're sterling silver, 925, same manufacturer, so you don't have to worry about your size, which is kind of nice. Now I do have sized rings tonight. The, the amazing human being who made my 18 karat gold thumb ring made some rings for tonight, and those are not sizable. I mean, they are sizable, but they're sized. Alexis says to hurry up and do the rings. <laughs> okay, let's do the bracelets. <laughs> bracelets. Sorry. It's okay. What I figured out is at any one moment, I think I'm at least making one person mad. Yeah, the, the trick is to not make uh, the same person more than mad. a no, the more than the majority in the room mad. You can okay. have a minority in the room mad. But you know, I've been making at least one person mad all the time since I was little. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just kind of the package. Yeah. <laughs> is it a Leo thing? No, really. I mean, somebody's <clears throat> always mad at me. I don't really care, to Susie's point. I kind of don't. I mean, somebody's always mad, so it's just like, well... And then I get mad sometimes. Do the laser lines have metaphysical meaning? I don't know, Dana Franco, honestly. <laughs> every time what? <laughs> Alexis or Hannah posted, every time you do two yellows back to back, you lose a stone from your tray. <laughs> honestly, Hannah, I don't look at the yellows, and it's not because I'm trying to make you mad. But honestly, I can't pay attention to that. It's hard for me to do what I need to do. And, and here's, the, here's the challenge with that, that threat. Which tray? <laughs> Okay, because she has like eight or nine trays filled with stones. So then it becomes a question of... Now I have of, 20 because they're all organized by <laughs> chakra. And then there's like the invisible chakras. And, well, and whatever. Then it becomes, okay, so if there's 150 or 200 stones per tray, she can do this, you know, 4,000 times. <laughs> the laser lines are natural. <clears throat> We've had a couple of questions. In my experience, is that what you're understanding too? Laser lines and laser cords yeah. are natural. Yeah. yeah. They're etched, but what they're not doing? like human etched. You said we're doing the bracelets? Yeah, let's do bracelets. Oh, uh, was Alexis? What? Alexis. Oh, look at this, I'm folks. I'm excited for you, Crystal Scarlet. <clears throat> yeah, but you know, each one of my stones is my child. Do you feel that way with your crystals? Now, now just pay no attention to the arm hair here as I... We do. As I, as I model these beautiful... Okay. See how pretty they'll look on oh, your wrist? If they look good on me. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think men's wrists are really sexy. Oh, yeah. And by the way, we have quite a few male customers who, who, who love good bracelet, Dave. Would that one fit you if you were wearing it on your wrist? Like, like seriously, yeah. like right now? Yeah, could you really close it? You could. Yeah, I think, okay. I, I think I probably It's adjustable, can. so that tells you, because he's got, Dave yeah. has a Dave has a decent sized wrist, you know what I mean? And let me see, let me see on my wrist, just to see if I could actually make it work on like my wrist. I've never put a bracelet on, so for me, like, I'm just, I'm struggling yeah. here. It's a little big for me, but I, but I have, like, a six inch wrist. So it's a six and a half to an eight to eight and a half inch bracelet. Is that mm -hmm. helpful? Because I have a little tiny, I have little bitty wrists. Yeah, so if you're, if you're like me, if you're a six inch, this might be a little bit loose on you, but that's okay. You know what I mean? So it hangs down a little bit. Okay, I have 15 of these. Let's talk about Sujolite before I tell you the price. So the bigger stones, the cabochons, the rounded stones are Sujolite. Sujolite comes from South Africa. It was discovered by a man named Suji, um, who was actually looking for manganese. Uh, he just, he stumbled upon sujolite, which grows with manganese. And so the black in those stones is actually manganese, which is a super powerful um, healer for the physical body, balances the body systems. So sujolite is the purple mineral. These are open on the back and they're spaced with amethysts. See the little round cut faceted stones? Those are amethysts. I think it's a nice pairing because sujolite is that deep violet color. And then you have these really beautiful African amethysts in between. So both of those stones come from Africa. Um, these bracelets are open on the back. They uh, they close with a toggle. The shapes are they they are they are interspersed, right? So you'll find a tear shape in there, sort of a trillion cut, or it's more of an oval and a rectangle. Um, it's really beautiful. We it's getting harder to get sujolite. I'll just tell you. Um, that's why we don't have very many of these for you. It is, in my opinion, as someone with three autoimmune diseases, don't be jealous. 
Um, this is a great autoimmune disease. You mean first, you last. Um, well, you know, if it was competition, I was really going for it. So, but autoimmune diseases are like rabbits. They multiply, right? You get one and all of a sudden you have nine. Um, and so this is a good stone to help balance and align the central nervous system, which is one of the things that I struggle with. And so, <laughs> and so we have one bracelet. You know, I can count on one hand the number of times Alexis has thrown things or dropped them <laughs> during a live gym sale. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> the after party is where he gets spanked. It's not happening right now. Well, that's a good shot. It's actually really good. Yeah. Is hypothyroidism an autoimmune disease? I know I Hashimoto's know. is. I'm not sure if hypothyroidism is. I had Graves disease. No, you didn't, <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> it's those girthy wrists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. New yeah. Zealand. <laughs> Larissa's is always trying to help. <laughs> I need a drink now. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I love you, Alexis. Um, so the retail value on this is hard to tell. Anywhere between two ninety nine and three fifty. Our price is two fifty. Oh wow, that's really good. Mm-hmm. That's. And we have two? Uh, we have 15. Oh, that, that's really yeah. good. It'll be a while, kids, before I have a $250 Sujalite. Sujalite, yeah, you. seriously. Like, um, yeah. If you've been on the fence and you're not sure, this is, I will tell and you. And in silver, too? And in sterling silver. Yeah, forget um, it. Forget it. You go into a shop. Wow. I, so I have a couple of bracelets by this designer, this manufacturer, and um, you'll have this for the rest of your life. The stones are so well set. The quality is so good. You don't have to baby it or take good care of it. You can wear this every single day and not worry about it. Um, so enjoy. The qual That's a great shot of it too, Dave. Looks I, like it's over your third eye. I know. When someone pays you a compliment and you say, I know, <laughs> it shows you weren't raised well. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't. So Love you, mom. So we used to it say it was bad. It was real bad. <laughs> so, so we used to say people used to say, "You're so pretty." When Zoe was little, and she'd go, "I know," and then she'd look at me and go, "Thank you." <laughs> like what? You know? When a kid says it, it's cute. When an adult says it, you're like, "I know." What's the best way to clean silver? Get yourself a silver polishing cloth. Seriously, invest in one. I, I've tried like the jewelry cleaners and all the fancy things. Don't do that. Silver polishing cloth is all you need. <laughs> do you guys say I know when people tell you how cute you are? <laughs> I think that's like one of the first signs of narcissism. I know. I think the only better response would be to like bark at him or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? Um, all right. Cool. The trick is to know, but to say thank you. That's right. I used to say, you know what, Zoe? If you're really pretty, then you have to be pretty on the inside too, and not just on the outside. <laughs> Are you getting texts? I actually just got a text from Zoe, and I thought she was like, because we were talking about her, maybe she was watching. And no, it says, can I get Smudge out of my room? He looks depressed. <laughs> Tell her yes. <laughs> yeah, get a polishing cloth. Yeah, even for delicate, Tia, get in there, girl. You're not really going to hurt it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, pretty on the outside sucks if it's ugly on the inside. Yeah. But it is cute when they're like, I know. Um, okay. Can we do the necklaces or are we going to be banned from live gem sales if we do that? <laughs> is it yellow? I have to look. Don't do this. I'm trying to follow the rules. Behave. It's not yellow. Behave oh, yourself. Oh, that's because I only have two. Sorry. I only have two necklaces. You want a necklace? Okay. He's drinking, uh, is it tea vana or a tea hava? Tea hava. Tea hava. He likes iced tea. I don't like iced tea. And so it's black it's tea. tea um, this one's just, oh, this one is the peach. There's the regular and then um, the peach. I like the peach. It just gives it a little peachy flavor. Oh, toothpaste is good? I like it. That's really cool. Uh, no Tanzanite pendants. No, we only have necklaces. Unless there's something here that's invisible and un I'm unable to see it because it's not in this dimension, which is possible. I'm going to really try not to drop these 
Come on, camera. There we go. I'm going to try not to drop these guys. I, like, I agree. I, I Unsweetened. Like, no, I like sweet tea. No. I like to be no. in Georgia, and I like to have someone bring me sweet tea. You just like how it sounds. No, I like the taste of it. You just like how it's sweet tea. Sweet tea. See? But, yeah. But I do. Yeah, okay. exactly. No, but if, they, if it's homemade <laughs> sweet tea in the South, where it's like there's so much sugar in it that you can... It's like granules on your tongue. You don't like it? No. Okay, you put a little whiskey in that sweet tea. Barbara's got fat fingers. Hairy, fat fingers. Ah, That's the problem here. Georgia's food, I will just tell you, I'm still recovering from my food fest in Georgia, which was now almost 20 years ago. But I, I ate myself into oblivion in Georgia. That's why I can't live there. If I lived in Savannah or what was that honestly, cook? That was that was a whole thing. You would watch her cook, right? Paula Dean, I went Paula to her Dean. restaurant, and all her stuff was delicious, right? All her recipes. Yeah. But if you watch her, it all started with, and now we'll just add five packs of butter. But that's why it tastes good. But at her restaurant, well, yeah. so he was like, "What'd you have for dinner?" I'm like, "Well, for my appetizer, I had fried lobster. <laughs> for my dinner, I had a fried steak, chicken fried steak, and then for my dessert, I had fried pie." And he's like, "You're making me hungry." They dipped the slice of pie in batter go some and crackers. fried it, and it was good. Okay, come get some Florida seafood, dude. I don't think I, I honestly I would gain ten pounds in a day. Okay, LA doesn't have like food like that. This is the string of suge that never ends. Okay, these are um, sugelite necklaces. These are adjustable. Um, same same deal, right? Um, we have. There's 33A and 33B. One is more oval, I think, and one is more square. That's correct. Okay. They're the same weight and the same price. Open on the back. Okay. So there's oval mm -hmm. and there's square. Same thing. Spaced out by the African amethysts. The length of them is not on my sheet. So Team SG, do you know the length? It's long. I would say 18 to 20. Um... It'd be good to put the link on the sheet so we know what, how to how to guide people. So if Team SG, if you want to chime in, I'm pretty sure they're 18 to 20 inches. It could be 20 to 24. They're big. They're, they're big, long. you guys. Where are you going with that? It's a it's a, it's a sexy checker. <laughs> it looks 18. Nathan and I are eyeballing it. Um, hi, Copper Riley. Team SG will let you know. Oh my God, Sen, I will take you up on your offer. My brother's a vegan chef, by the way, and his vegan his food. food's so good. I honestly would never eat meat again if my brother cooked for me every day. It's that good, so I'm a believer. All right, we don't have a retail value because <laughs> I'm this such a Blanche. <laughs> I'm such a Blanche, I'm like a naughtier Blanche. Um, so these are $499 each, which again is a really know, Nathan, great price. You know, it's a put on a little bit here in the neck area. He's not a 17, I think he's like a, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, honestly, you can adopt my brother. He's available. <laughs> <laughs> my brother's single. I never understood it. He's smart and he's a great cook, but he's not really into people. Wouldn't okay. you say that about Jeff? He's kind of introverted a little bit. Jeff's very introverted. Yeah. I don't, think my, I don't think my brother's really looking he for like He wouldn't want us a, talking about him. No. He wouldn't. He's kind of private, but he's, he's really brilliant, private. and he's a great chef. Yeah, he's he's a brilliant chef. Denise is like, I'll take Jeff. <laughs> he is single. No, Denise, you got to come and sold for Jeff. <laughs> sold <available>. Jeff. <laughs> he's a Libra. He's such a Libra. My brother and I have gotten along my whole life. He's 11 years older than me, so he, that means he's 40, 58. Yeah, 58. Yeah. Anyway. People sometimes are very people-y. <laughs> Becky's like, I'm just hungry. Um, so congratulations if you're getting a Sigilite necklace. I'm really excited for you. Again, I don't know when we're going to have those back for you. So yeah, these, are, these are special. Yeah, they are really, really beautiful, you guys. And I've wanted to bring more. I would have brought more if I could have. It's just hard to get Sigilite necklaces. Um, it really, really is. It's tricky. I know. So I want to see if I can show the quality. I was going to say, that looks terrible. I know, I'm trying. Sometimes it's good, but see, you're a great cook. I love it. Ooh, look at the color. Gosh, they're so vibrant. Yeah. It's almost like got that like ruby look. I want to go live with Becky Bum, and Becky. she bought 70 acres. Oh, uh, we'll be there tomorrow, Becky. <laughs> we'll be there tomorrow. 
I'll bring the RV. Don't go falling you in love can, with you her. You can probably hear me coming down the road, Becky. Don't go falling in love with her, Clark. Isn't it beautiful? So congratulations if you got one of those necklaces. So we have one necklace left. We have the square-shaped one left. The square? Mm-hmm. You want to show them that one? So they're both four, uh, $4.99. Is that right, or did I screw that up? Alexis and Hannah, do we still have one left, or are they both gone? I don't know. I know. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a retreat or something on a big piece of land. That's like my idea of having... In Southern California, we can't even really dream about that because we just don't have space, you know? It's the one thing I, I love about other places in the world because space just appeals to me. Sujolite and Charoite, how do you tell them apart? I confuse them. Sujolite's purple and black. Charoite always has some white pockets in it. Charoite, uh, I'll, yeah. It, it always does. It's like a different purple. It's like a lighter. It's a, Well, it's slightly lighter. Some pieces yeah. of Charoite are dark. Sujolite and Sharawite come from different localities. So Sharawite comes from Sharo Peninsula in Russia, and Sujolite comes from South Africa. But they're both purple. Sharawite's shinier, Lindsay Clouds are saying. That's an interesting way of thinking about it, too. God, you guys, I'm really jealous of your space. It's tough, because we're like, I mean, we're not right on top of each other here, but it's, it's closer than, you know, you would be comfortable with if you're used to space, for sure. What's the black and Sharawite? I'm not sure, actually. Do you know? We can find out. I love I stone trivia. You know what? Um, what's the uh, rock salt yeah. site? Lola Bunny. Yeah, um, let's, yeah, Mindat. Go to Mindat. Mindat will tell you. You know, our friend founded Mindat. Rock um, Courier founded yeah. Mindat. Um, so. Yeah, go there, check it out. And then, and then if you find you out, let me know. And if I find out, I'll let you know. Because I honestly love stone trivia like that and figuring out what the inclusion Yeah, are, horrible so. what happened today in uh, Beirut. I mean, it's uh, just crazy. Um, I was just, we were talking about it right before we came on. and I'm glad you mentioned it because I was going to uh, wait until the end tonight. But if everybody's okay now, I would really love for just us all just to take one collective breath together for Beirut. Can we do that? You ready? So roll your shoulders back. Call yourself into present time. Take a normal deep breath. And let's plan an inhale together. So on this inhale, we're going to call up all of these energies of, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now. And then we're going to exhale peace. Are you ready? So on that inhale, bring in everything of this moment, all of the tension and stress, call that all up. And then on the exhale, release it all and exhale into peace. And we can do that again. And then exhale. So we just ask for prayers and blessings for the families of all of those affected and for clarity and for peace and healing. It's so difficult to have a global, I've got chills all over, to have a global experience like this during a pandemic. It's like, you know. Yeah. Source creator, see us in this moment and help to guide us in our next steps. Thanks everybody for, for helping us hold that space. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aho to that. Ooh, kind of lost track of where I was. Yeah. Um, that was a good sidetrack. Yeah, it was, it was good. It was needed, so thank you. I mean, and you know, it's funny, if you ever do plant medicine, what happens in the middle of the ceremony if you're in a group is at some point you have to breathe because it's like the whole collective just needs to have a breath. And then the rest of the journey is so much better after that because you everybody needs that release. So thank you, really. I don't know who it is that mentioned it, but I'm just super grateful that you did. Thank you. Um, let's do the Sujolite rings because I think Hannah and Alexis will probably be okay with that now. You sure? <laughs> Hannah? Is that, that Suj on this too? No, that's watermelon. Oh, yeah. So. You have them though, yeah, the Sujolite rings. Maybe. Okay, so we only have one size. It'll make it nice and easy. We have 50 of them. Five, Says the black zero. is manganese. Yeah, the black is manganese. That's right. That's how they've discovered Sujolite. No, I think she's saying Charoite. Oh, and Charoite. Is it really? No, well, I think that's what Marin's saying. But, black um, and Charoite. Um, no. Uh, well, I don't know. We'll have to look it up. Yeah. I'm curious, though. This is exciting to figure this <clears> out. <throat> okay. Um, did you get a buzz, too? Me, too, Becky Bowman. All right, um, same thing, right? Same story. Um, these are, seem like two different sizes, don't they? It's like a heart in that one. But these are two different sizes. Let me see them. I just want to clarify. We may need to um, talk about this and, and get kind of straightened away. 
Um, TMSD, these look like two different sizes to me. Do you have two sizes on the no, sheet? No, it's listed as one size. But optically to me, those are two different sizes. Can you guys clarify what you have since you're in the building with it? And then we can um, clarify. By weight, it might be the same though. I don't think so. I'm just, I'm a little hesitant, Team SG, so can you, um... whoa, did you see what Bianca just said? The yeah. black in, in shower white is Isurine and Walter. Really? Well, that's super cool. That's a new day. That's one of the most clearing stones you can work with. All right, Thanks, we, we need to come back to these. Yeah, we'll come back. Team SG is going to sort them. beautiful. They're beautiful. Team SG, can you please do that for us while we're live? Um, because I really do want to offer these to them. I just... I'll, 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 I'll text. I, I, if I was a customer, I see two I'll different text. sizes. Okay. Okay. So let's move on. Um, voila. Oh, we, I, in the meantime, I can talk about um, Trapeche Amethyst because it's about the same number of items. Uh, My shoulder issues. It's like hard to lift my shoulder up. Um, aren't they beautiful? Yeah, now I'm in love with Shower White more than I was before. That's just rad. I had no idea that it was um, Isurine. I have Palo Santo stuck in my pants. I told you there was another stick. That was in my pants. I told you there was another stick. Now, in my defense, like, you know, these are like the MC Hammer pants, so. I Too mean, legit. It's not like I stuck it in my underwear, but like, really? I told you. Yeah, these are pants. These are the ones from SG. <laughs> They're 100 years old. That's embarrassing. It's OK. I had a big stick of Palo Santo in my pants. I had wood in my pants. Moving on. OK. Here. <clears throat> Whatever. Can't touch this. <laughs> it's true. Oh, god. Good thing I don't take it all too seriously. Because you just can't. You want that stick? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Okay, this is Trapiche Amethyst. These are, let me explain what Trapiche is, okay? <laughs> can't do it with the comments. I can't even look at your comments right now. Let's talk about amethyst, everybody. Um, okay, so some amethyst grows with phantoms. Do you see those? There, and, and if he shows you the point down, there's well, you can see it, yeah. No, point down toward them. You can see it's a, no, 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 like the point pointing at the screen. Yeah, it creates a wheel. Do you see that? Three triangles. So there's phantoms on each edge. So they call that trapiche. It's like a wheel. It's a wheel imprint inside of the stone. So we've had trapiche pendants. <laughs> we've had trapiche rings. These are the trapiche points. And I'm obsessed with them. So they, some people call them wheel stones. Some people call them chakra stones. They're, they're supposed to be the most powerful amethyst you can work with, trapiche. Um, and it's such a rare formation to get triple phantoms on each piece. So that's what these are. Aren't they cool? Do you see it? So they're all like that. They all have it on the three sides. These are polished on the top and natural on the side. Oh, no, Lorianne. I've got pendants for days, girl. Hang tight. And some of the most beautiful pendants you've ever seen. So stay with me for a few minutes. Um, it would be a very cool wand piece, I have to say. That's a power piece right there. Um, and so these I have 36 of them. They are $39 a piece. Isn't they beautiful? Two and a half on average inches. So some will be a little bit tinier than that. Some will be a little bit bigger than that. And again, I have um, 36 of these. I have three dozen of these. This is a fun one. And especially if you have been looking for something that you wanted to get at the sale that would really have a unique energy to it. Because even if you worked with Amethyst before, this is a whole different uh, situation. There is something really... So that one has a shaman um, portal. Do you see it? I just taught you about that. See how it's like an arrow-like um, uh, indentation? that would hold a drop of water. Now I'm like, do they all have shaman portals? This one has a shaman portal on it too. And this one does too. So the three that I have sitting here all have shaman portals on them, which is pretty cool. Not mm -hmm. every not every quartz or smoky or mm -hmm. amethyst has a shaman portal. It's not yeah. all that common. So it's kind of funny. You know what I found though? I don't know if you guys have experienced this. I have found that um, when a quartz has one unique formation, it often will have another. 
It's almost like the really special is special in a bunch of different ways. So shaman portals are created, uh, usually they're, they're tectonic activity. Usually it's some kind of earthquake or intense interruption in the growth cycle that creates this almost like arrow-like um, indentation in the quartz. And if it's, if it's deep enough where it would hold a drop of water, which most of them are, we call those shaman portals. <laughs> Lori Ann said she heard Trapiche and ran back from making cocoa. <laughs> I love that we're like rolling in the back of Lori Ann's kitchen. I really do. Super fun. Um, that's what I do with Suzanne Summers. I'm kind of obsessed with Suzanne Summers. I love her lives, um, and I don't, but I don't have the attention span to just sit and watch. So I just leave her running in the background. I think she and her husband are so funny. I just get the biggest kick out of it. I don't buy anything. I just like to watch her. She's funny. And I hope I look that good when I'm whatever age she is. Mm -hmm. She's cute, man. Isn't she fun? She's so much fun and her husband's cute. You and I could be like Suzanne and Al one day. Al's his name? Al. Big Al. Big Al live on Fridays from his bar, Big Al's bar. Is he a shoe salesman? No. Oh. No. He's, he's magical too. He thought manganese was pink. Not in my experience. Manganese is black as far as I know, but maybe you saw some kind of... Um, is she 73? Honest to goodness, I'm telling you. Impressive. Um... Do you do her cocktail hour with Alan? Look, we're, we're so similar, everybody. I love her. I really, really do. I think she's awesome. Um, Lola got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I miss all of his references. It's okay. That's all right. After bingo, we're going to do movie reference night. She's a bombshell. She's, still, she's hot, man. I'm telling you. If you haven't seen her recently, I'm like, you're hot. She does it for me. Um, she takes like a hundred supplements a day. You know what? Whatever she's doing is working. <laughs> I just bow to her. Man. Speaking of working, we got we got a lot to okay. get through here. All right, let's do um, let's do the ocean jasper pendants. I really want to talk about those. Let me make sure it's not yellow, so I don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. <sighs> they do drink Casa Dragona's tequila. I'm going to tell you something though. Um, I from Casa Dragona's is not my favorite. I still prefer Cazadores, um, uh, Don Julio, to, or we have a friend who makes homemade mezcal, which is the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. Anyway, I, I'm picky about tequila, and Casa Dragones is expensive, but it's not my favorite. I do a nice um, so, humidor. Do you want the tourmaline first, or what do you want? Let's do the um, praseolite. Yeah, so we have two different sizes of those. We have jumbo and large. <laughs> no, I'm comfortable. I don't. Jumbo is the small. Oh no, large is the smaller, and jumbo is the is the larger. Jumbo. Okay, jumbo is the bigger one, guys. This is the. This is large. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> just totally screwed that up. <laughs> um. <laughs> Siete Mysterios Mezcal is my favorite, but I can't afford to like really drink that. So um, I like, um, oh my God, what's the one that, um, uh, I like Azul. Azul is an affordable Mezcal, um, so you don't feel guilty drinking it. Siete Mysterios, I feel guilty drinking it. Okay, this is Praesia like Green Amethyst on top with Ocean Jasper on the bottom. And I'm gonna tell you something, these are the most beautiful ocean jasper pendants I've ever seen in my life. I'm not kidding. I've never seen anything this beautiful in my life. And the prices are insane. Are you ready? To get these for under $200 is nuts. I want to talk to you about ocean jasper and quality. Can you turn these around? Even on the back side, they have the orbits. The highest quality ocean jasper will be dark green and dark pink. This one has a little drizzy window on it too. It's kind of cool. That's the quality on the back. So, and then the top is green amethyst, cut faceted. Green amethyst is the healer of the amethyst family. So purple amethyst is peace. Green amethyst is healing. Pink amethyst heals the heart. Green amethyst heals the body. It's almost like my barrel song, but less annoying because it's shorter. <laughs> okay. Um, so the smaller size, which is the large, I only have one, sorry. <sighs> It's $139. Seriously? Oh, whatever, dude. It's, it's a gem sale. I only have one. It's $139. Okay. 
the larger size. Look at that. They're insane, dude. Just go. You won't regret it. Um, and then the larger size is $159. Do you at least you have two of these? No, I have one. <sighs> you sounded like John Travolta in um, Staying Alive right then. You really did. It's like a New York kind of accent. Are you okay? You let, me, let me get you some wine. You have two of these? Yeah, Can you say it again? No, I can't. Every now and then the New Yorker in me like comes a, out. Wasn't it like a New York accent? Like, where did that come from? He's from New York. What's your problem? I only have one. I'm sorry, guys. There's only one of each of these. When we first met, I used to say that all the time. What's your problem? She'd be like, God, everybody has a problem with you. No, but he told me when I went to New York that people, you know, that's what they say. No, you assumed no. that. I didn't tell you, you said, that. You said, that's a New York You're like, I assumed everybody else, everybody would say that. Everybody on the street would be like, asking me what my problem is because that's you, know, you did. No, so I went to New York with him for the first time and nobody asked me what my problem was. I don't know why I'm holding was. these up. There are only two. There are only two. Congratulations to the lucky few. Literally few. Casey's still laughing. It's What's your problem? Forget about it. <laughs> I honestly thought people in New York were going to constantly ask me what my problem was. And then like, you were upset did. and nobody asked. Nobody asked me what my problem was. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I wanted somebody to ask me what my problem was. I was really disappointed. New York. Like, I thought people were going to be kind of tough and saucy, and I was I had my comebacks ready, like, oh, the problem is that, you know, whatever. And nobody asked me what my you problem was. You should have you should have gone up to somebody and said, Why didn't you ask me what my problem is? <laughs> and then seeing what they said. <laughs> hey, do you want to know what my problem is? Can you imagine walking down like I don't know. Get the, the fuck out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> In New York, if you did that, somebody would just hit you. <laughs> hey, you wanna know what my problem is? I'll give you a problem. Exactly, Hydra. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. If, you, if you're not from New York or you haven't been to New York, this may completely be lost on you, but it's for real. <laughs> <laughs> I did have expectations. Whatever. I was young. Okay. I have two of these. Sorry. Two? No, but Whatever. do you have one, one of each? each? One of each. What's your problem? <laughs> I have one of each. Okay. Okay. Um, Ocean Jasper yeah. with What's water. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> Do you win stuff on here? I don't even know, Lorene Barrows. I, I, I mean, I, so... Honestly, if you're lucky, you get one. I know. Priscilla's like, we're nice in New York. No, you actually are really nice in New York, and I just expected something else, because yeah, when he goes New York... New York is like like six countries in one, okay? The city's different there's than upstate. There's the city, there's Long Island, then there's, you know, upstate, and then there's really upstate and then there's buffalo which is like an island unto itself because buffalo is not part of new york really uh, i think people from buffalo would disagree with that it's a different part of new york it is yeah um binghamton represented we had a couple people from Bingham, binghamton live i was like you know the weirdest thing about Bingham, binghamton to me is hooters i'm sorry <laughs> what? what i mean binghamton <laughs> There's a Hooters in Binghamton. Yeah, it's a no. fucking chain. Stop, there's kids watching. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a chain. Okay. You're the one. Hooters. Okay. You're bringing up Hooters and you're like, don't swear. Kids watching. Is it weird to you that there's a, Bingham, a Hooters in Binghamton? No. Have you been to Binghamton? Yes. Why is there a Hooters in Binghamton? Because it's a city. Actually, it's more like a town. But okay. All right. I love Hooters wings, by the way. Is Zoe here? Hi, Zoe. No, she's not. I went to Hooters a bunch when I was pregnant, which is really funny. <laughs> I, I did. Uh, well, I was so, I was craving Hooters wings when I was pregnant both times. And I used to go, can we please go to Hooters? It's so weird. I was a huge pregnant woman. And I ordered like three things of wings. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I, how do we even... I don't even know. Zoe's completely used to this. This is Zoe's life. Oh, honestly. Yeah. I made um, Ms. Cairo spit out her bong water. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, Hooters is awesome. I just think it's weird in Binghamton. I mean, Binghamton... I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Double breading, double dip. That's what I'm going to say. Honestly, I didn't care. I was like, Hooters? I got Hooters. I'm pregnant. Give me some wings. Um, so, Ocean Jasper with... 
It is true. Carolyn cleared it up. Binghamton's a college town. That's why they have a Hooters. See, I didn't actually really oh, think about that. Oh, yeah, But sure. SUNY, SUNY Binghamton. Of course they have a Hooters. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Carolyn. Enough said. Um, you should deal, deal blackjack at the Hooters Hotel in Vegas, Brittany James. I love you more than I've ever loved you before. Seriously. That is the most red thing because do you know blackjack and me, it, it's going down. I will clear my whole table. It, when I'm playing back blackjack, if you come up to my table and your energy's not right, you have to go. I will legit tell you to go. Focus. Ocean Jasper, watermelon tourmaline. <laughs> yes, baby boo grace. <laughs> That's what you do. No, I won't um, me too. Wait till the team tells you what it is. The large, I have one. And the extra large, I have one as well. And they are, actually, they're both large and they're both $139. They're the same size, sorry. They're both $139. But are you doing square versus? Um, we should probably do, yeah, they did, let's they do did, that. oh, let's... they did actually, sorry. There's yeah. um, large ocean jasper with tourmaline and then square ocean jasper with tourmaline. Okay, so the large. Large is the oval and square is the square. That's clear as mud. I'm just going to tell you. I don't even know. I don't even know. Good luck, team SG, and good luck to everybody else, because this is called chaos. When the pandemic's over, though, we should do like like um, an SG retreat at a casino for people who want to play blackjack and learn about energy at the tables. Could we do that? I'll teach it. I don't know. I'm going to be on a plane 24-7. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Miss Cairo has another fun shower <coughs> fact. Name? Oh, can you scroll that? Can you hold that? After it was discovered in the area in Russia, uh, la, 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 la. no, I want to go back up. I want a fun fact. If you don't gamble, don't worry. But I do. It's unknown whether it's named after the mountain nearby or the river, which translated means charm or magic. Well, Sharoite is Sharmoite. Sharmoite. Charm All right, so congratulations, okay. you guys. I don't know. God only knows who won. Yeah. Hi, EA. I can see you. Yeah, it'll probably be a couple of years before we're gambling <clears throat> again. But you know what? I will I will hold the thought. And we'll play the blackjack, and I will teach you how to energetically manage I gamble all the time. You're not into the blackjack the way I am, though. Options. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> God, blackjack is fun. And I can go all night, man. It will not stop. We'll do it one day. It'll happen. And bingo, forget it. You can't. You won't. And you don't. Stop. Okay. Um, pink tourmaline obelisks, please, darling. This is a gift to Hannah. As we allow everyone to catch up. Oh, sorry. Nope, what am that, I doing? That's not that. You got the one. I just reached back. So. I've got one. I've got two. Really? Oh, God. I would love to teach you blackjack. Oh, blackjack's easy. It's easy, but the energy piece is different. Hello, Corinne. It's really good to have you guys here tonight. Thank you for being fun and... So, um, if you're just joining us, I want to highlight that while a generator has a multitude of Yay. sides in the bottom, an obelisk has four. <laughs> just wanted to share that fun fact. Right, Alexis? <clears throat> Your poke the roll? No, I have multiples of these. So I have five of the medium, five of the large. This is pink tourmaline in feldspar and quartz. Um, I'm loving, by the way, the fast facts, Christine Gard about um, shower weight, so like, keep it coming. It's so fun to learn all the facts. Um, I have five of the medium, five of the large. The medium is four inches, the large is five. An obelisk, Ready Crystal Masters members, my students have learned all about this. A, an obelisk is four-sided on the bottom and triangles on the top. And this is what the ancient Egyptians preferred to generators for building outside of temples and as sacred structures to try and reach the gods. And so it's four sided on the bottom, which is representative of the four elements, four directions and balance. And then it's got four triangles on the top, which represents the Holy Trinity. I always thought this shape was neat. How many, um, how many um, sides on the bottom does an obelisk have? Is it a trick question? This is what my marriage is like. This is what my marriage is like. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> We've been around for a while. Hey, did you take out the trash? Hey, did you take out the trash yet? Hey, did you take out the trash yet? Whatever, dude. Hey, are you sometimes gonna take out the trash? I'm older than you, and sometimes hearing things multiple times. Stan. And meanwhile, Crystal's like, "Did I win? I don't even know what's happening." <laughs> um, I have five of the medium, 
Five of the large, the medium is $47, and the large is $57. I don't know if you can see it. I want to try and show it in this. It's uh, the, yeah, the shimmer on this mm -hmm. is... Yeah. So what I want you to notice is what you're looking for in quality is the proportion of pink tourmaline in these obelisks. Like sometimes you'll see these and they're lower quality, and it's like you got a couple of bars on each side. Every side yeah, is this studded. Yeah, this is like, yeah. It's really well done. And, and, and the even, bars go all the way through. Isn't that cool? Even this edge here, it's mm -hmm. beveled. They're beautiful. So they didn't do, they didn't, um, when these are cut, they were not a sharp edge, it's a beveled edge. So and there's kind of a cute like micro story about this. So I have one of these outside in my garden. I bought one, I don't know, five or six years ago in Tucson. And I was so excited because they only had one. I had never seen anything like it. And you so see that in there? It's a little... when these arrived for the green. gem sale, it was, these are the only other ones I've ever seen. I thought mine was the only piece in the world. So the matrix is feldspar with quartz. Feldspar gets a bum rap. I mean, it's it's the white matrix that tourmaline grows in, and it's like, wah, wah, but it, so it's kind of like the vanilla mineral of the mineral world. But feldspar has its own metaphysical properties. It's very stabilizing. Um, it's very calming feldspar. And then these do have quartz in the matrix too, so these could be the centerpiece of a grid if you wanted them to be. So congratulations. <laughs> Genevieve's like, stepped away and missed these. <laughs> well, um, We'll try, Lisa Cunningham. I certainly will. Um, oh, darling. Yeah, I will try to get more of these, especially knowing that you guys like them. So pink tourmaline, the sizes were four inches and five inches, and pink tourmaline opens your heart after it's been broken. It's a heart opener. It's really good for people who've experienced a lot of trauma and they don't want to trust again. It's one of those stones that helps you to like re-enter relationships after you've been hurt, which, I mean, we all go through it. We have about an hour left. Okay. Uh, we'll do some, yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to open up some wine while she takes stock of the fact that talking less. Yep, met my, okay, I'm going to talk less. <laughs> talk you less, drink more. Okay. Um, pink tourmaline it is not rubellite, actually. Rubellite is red tourmaline. Sometimes you see a little bit of bogue in pieces, but they're a little bit different. <laughs> Candace is like, with wine, no, you ain't. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to talk less. I actually am going to focus. Ready? Lightning wrap. Attention deficit disorder off. Focus on. Oh, look, a chicken. I struggle. I actually really do have a little attention, attention issue. So. I, do, I do my best. <laughs> did you also have detention issues? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was in trouble constantly. But, you know, I became my attention a, issues caused detention issues. I became friends with my detention teacher in high school. <laughs> I was there all the time. And Gotta she was make the really, best of she it. was awesome. And, and we ended up, I really, she was going through a tough time with her mom. <laughs> Focus, man. Focus. <laughs> no, Becky, mom, and you can't. Okay. Okay. Oh, look, a butterfly. Okay. Um, let's talk about the um, sapphire and uh, kyanite wands. Can you grab those for me real quick? Bring some stuff over to me and put it in front of me, and then I'll focus there's on my little arena. There's some stuff in front no, of No, there's nothing. Look, that, that's not a thing. I'm pouring this in front of the microphone. It's terrible. It's almost like crunching your crackers there. Watch how fast this is going to go, everybody. Oh, you want the sized rings? Okay, so bring the thumb rings over, and then bring me some things. Please. Cheers. Cheers. Thumb rings? Cheers. Yeah, the, the gold ones. Oh, the, the little Yeah, the little sized ones. Yeah. One. Mm. Two. Wine SMR. I, li I love ASMR. I do. Three. Four. Okay. Now, these are... Let me just double check. I believe these are size Ooh. six. Let me just... I'm using, using my fingers as a gauge. Yeah, these, the, this is a six, this is a six, and I think this one is a six and a half. Actually, I only have three, so not, not four. All right, I've got the next four lined up. Okay, cool. Um, these are the replicas of my um, thumb ring. The, it looks like the star sapphire is a seven, and the, the large star sapphire is a seven. The small star sapphire is a six and a half. And the chrysa barrel is a six and a half. Nectar so you can show gods. those to them. It's a nice bottle. What is that? It's an Artemis. Hmm. 
Okay. What I am can I doing? see you, Karen. Is it or Karina? I can see you. What am I doing? Show them to them. Oh. <laughs> Ready? Go. Okay. These are the replicas of the ring that I wear all the time. My thumb ring, which is a is 18 karat gold with a star sapphire. I got mine in Tucson. I've been obsessed with it. These, these are the last for quite a while because the price of gold has increased. Um, so he can't make these for me at the same price anymore. These are 18 karat gold. They can be sized, okay? Um, so if it's, it can be sized safely and easily up or down three sizes, okay? So if you're a five, oh, that's a great shot. Um, if you're a five, you can easily get this and, and it will not be expensive to have it sized down at all. Or where does a thumb ring, which is what I do. I gotta find these, hold on. Oh, this must be hard to watch for Alexis and Seriously, get it together, lady. I'm doing the best I can. I sound like my mom. She always said she was doing, doing the best, the best she can. I can. She was doing the best she could. Okay, I see two of them. Okay, all right. Um, ready? We're ready. Okay. So the one closest to his nail is the, um, the uh, cat's eye chrysoberyl. Chrysoberyl and the cat's eye is one of the rarest gemstones in the world, okay? And it's full manifestation. That's what chrysoberyl is. Chrysoberyl was mentioned in the Bible. It was in the breastplate of Aaron, which was um, what the high priest used to communicate with God. <laughs> it's a very long story made very short. Um, I don't even know where he gets cat's eye chrysoberyl, okay? Um, there's only one of those, and that is a size, um, I think we said that was a size six and a half on that one, in 18 karat gold. Um, so that one is $750. Isn't that beautiful? We don't do a lot of pure 18K. I only have three rings tonight. So this is, these are not silver. Um, I don't know if it's the same as Alexandrite. I don't think it is. But I only have one, and like I said, I won't have more of these for quite a while. Um, and that is in some ways even more special than the star sapphire, although those are very special too. So congratulations. Is it Angela Cox who's getting that one? You will love it. It is super special and I hope you wear it every day like I wear mine and never take mine off. Isn't it beautiful? I know. Congrats. Okay. Which one next? And then we have the small star sapphire and the large star sapphire. The, the small is... Um, and I believe the large, the small star sapphire is a size six and a half. Look how perfect that star is, by the way. Um, that one is $650 for the small star sapphire. And then we have a, the larger staff, star sapphire, which looks kind of ruby-ish there. Let me make sure you've got the right one. Where's the fourth one? No, you do. Um, it's, it's, it's more blue than it looks there. It's kind of a purple actually star. It's the same exact as mine. And that one is 750. So the small star is 650. The large star is 750. This one's 650. Yeah, that's 650. And the larger one is 750. And that's all I've got. Congratulations, everybody. He's incredible. Um, and I, I've told you this story before. I bought the ring because of him because I wanted to carry a little bit of his energy with me all the time. He's he's a ray of sunshine. He's a star on this This planet. is, uh, oh yeah, 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 mm -hmm. he's a, just, oh, I like him. He, one day we were spending a lot of time yeah, with I like him, him. And, and we had some food. He went, he grabbed a tapestry out of his booth, stopped everything he was doing, laid the tapestry down, brought us napkins, said, please sit down, eat your food. I mean, Brooklyn, remember, she was there. Yeah. And we ended up just building a relationship. And now I'm in touch with him all the time. I just adore him. He's um, a nice guy. But he did tell me he can't do them anymore at the price because of the price of gold. So and then we have this, the last one was the ruby. That one is not available anymore. That one is not available anymore. We had, we had a VIP reach out and ask to please take that one out of consideration. And I don't do this very often, but it was a very special person. So that one has been spoken for. Can I just ask one question? Yeah. No, I'm not keeping it. It was somebody, it was a very special VIP. I'm not going to call her out, but she's somebody special. And That VIP is not an 11-year-old girl or a 47-year-old no. woman <laughs> with purple hair. <laughs> okay, just checking. I don't do that very often, but it is. Just checking. I did it in this case. <laughs> I don't know if she's watching, but 
she didn't want to be in the, you know, she can't be here publicly to get it, so. Oh, that's good. <laughs> He's having a moment. No, I'm really not keeping it. It really is somebody special and couldn't be here live. Karen, so. I, gotta, I gotta watch her like a hawk. <laughs> I don't keep that much. This whole thing? I had that for years. You can't remember anything. Aw, did you have fun? God, I'm so glad, Jackie Robinson. <laughs> okay. Sujalite rings. What happened with the Sujalite rings? Okay. So, the Sujalite rings. Um, when we got these, we got these as a whole batch. Okay. So, they're the same. Um, these aren't priced out separately, and we don't have any counts or anything. So the question is, do you guys want them if we can't sort them by price? That's the that's the challenge. I don't know. I'm not doing that with the opal rings, Linda Lesto. I know you better than that. <laughs> I normally don't do things for for special people, but I made an exception. Um, okay, you want them? Okay, let's go for it. The price is really good. I mean, I think you're getting a good deal. I it's wouldn't a, I wouldn't yeah. sell them if I didn't think it was a good deal. Are you it's ready? A, it's a good deal regardless. Okay. All right, so I have 50 of them. We talked about Sujolite already, right? Massively important for immune health conditions. Well, I just want to make sure everything's, you're good. Um, so you can see that, that there's two sizes. They're slightly off. Um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come down $10 just because they're, they're yeah, off. Yeah, that's okay. fair. That's okay, fair. so I'm dropping that price across the board by $10. So our regular price on these would have been 89 I have 50 of them. They're 79 Four adjustable sterling silver Sujolite is pretty good. Um, and like I said, it's kind of nice if you can wear it every day. What I like about the size he's showing you, the, they're kind of the size of my Moldavite that I wear every day. Well, so they're happy. Um, I, you know, I wear my Moldavite every single day. This is the size of my Moldavite ring, by the way. So, you know, it's just like, it's kind of a... Oh, you're wearing a new ring. I never take it off. That's sweet. He got me this ring for our anniversary, and I love it so much, so I never take it off. I really don't. So congratulations if you're getting a Sujolite ring. I'm very happy for you. Really happy for you. Yeah, beautiful. They're beautiful. And who knows? I mean... And they're adjustable. They're they're adjustable. You know, I don't know how much more time we'll have with this quality of Sujolite. I heard from the source in yeah, Tucson this year yeah. that they're not they're not pulling this out of the ground. So this is old stock. I don't know how much more old stock people have, honestly. Well, it's the old stock, you know. Um, not just the Sujolite, but a lot of stones out mm -hmm. there that you find. Like, comes around, like... I, we got something today that isn't being mined anymore. Uh, so What was it? Well, I, I might keep it as a surprise for later on. Oh, uh, okay, okay. The blue. Oh, yeah. So, you know, sometimes sometimes it's like an old, I like cars, so sometimes it's like what you call barn find, right? Which is an old car that's just been sitting around for a long time. Did you see Janet? She wants a Lydian Tech Tech necklace. What kind of necklace do you want? Do you know whose birthday it is today? Didn't I just... Do you know I his... have. Do you know whose birthday it is today? Janet. Janet. <laughs> it's Janet's birthday. Oh, is it? What do oh. you have? Um, I am... I am... 75% positive. I have Libyan Tektite necklaces. <laughs> Walter. 75%. Happy birthday, Janet. If we, but birthday. we still have the bead ones, right? Yeah, no, it's 75% um, that I got those uh, sent. And I'm pretty sure we do. I am pretty, I am okay. pretty damn sure. Um, I'm, I, we'll make a note and, and we'll look. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to send you something for your birthday, Janet. Yeah, I got something up my sleeve for you. For you. I do. I've got something in mind for Janet. Janet's been around the block with me a couple times, and um, sometimes it's nice to do something um, special for special people. So maybe you should watch your mail, Janet. <laughs> Walter's like me. <laughs> He's inappropriate. <laughs> but you're funny. <laughs> Happy birthday, Janet. Uh, yeah, Aaron's like, Libyan Tech Night necklaces, plural? <laughs> We don't know. He's going to figure it out. 
No, don't cry in your wine. You should laugh in your wine because it's going to be something flipping awesome and you're a Leo. And seriously, I, you know, I, sometimes I wonder if you guys know how much we think about you um, and are truly grateful <clears throat> that you guys are in our community. You know what I mean? So anyway, grateful to you. And, and I'm, honestly, I'm really, when you guys spend any part of your birthday with us, like that's a big deal. I love it. Elizabeth's like, my birthday's tomorrow. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. Happy birthday. Honestly, Leo, Leo, soul brothers and soul sisters unite. And congratulations to everybody who got a sigillite ring, by the way. I am very excited for you. This wine is an Artemis. Stag Sleep. Yeah, Stag Sleep. That's a pretty good bottle. It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. pretty. It's, yeah. it's mellow, and it's not, like, so expensive. My thing, thing, like, the Casa de Dragones um, tequila, like, I feel guilty drinking it. I don't want to feel like that because it's expensive. <clears throat> so it's like, I'd rather drink something that's more affordable. But anyway, that's me. Uh, All right, next up. Okay, Naika. 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 The Naika mine is in Chihuahua, Mexico. Yeah, happy birthday, Crystal. Thanks for placing an order with us on your birthday. Aw, yeah, it's, I mean, honestly, those of you guys, no five buck chuck. Uh, you know, actually, I, I like the five buck chuck from Trader Joe's. She Dose. gets mad when I open a bottle of cheap wine and then, and then you know. You it's know. not always true. It has to be decent cheap wine. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It I mean, if you be, bust out the super yeah. crap, or we have some stuff downstairs that tastes like Kool-Aid, don't bust that out. I don't want that. I mean, if I want to drink Kool-Aid, I'll drink Some Kool of that stuff, sometimes it tastes good on like a certain day, and then, you know, you open it up another time, and it's just it's just not good. No. Mm. Not In that case, what I would say is don't, don't drink. Don't drink. Just do something else with your life. I can't find a Nika. I saw the, this meme the other day, and it said that um, in 20 years, uh, it's something like in 20 years, if you think now's bad, in 20 years. Yeah, Patron's good. In 20 years, um, mm. um, society is going to be run by um, a, bunch of, a bunch of folks who were raised at home. By, by day drinkers. By day drinkers. <laughs> What are you do? I, homeschooled. They were homeschooled uh, by day drinkers. Most out the rose, dude. Um, are we allowed to say who won the grand prize? I don't know. I haven't said it because I don't want to. I mean, I get in trouble, you guys. I say shit, and the team's like, "Why did you say that?" Not exactly in that voice. You know what I mean? So I don't announce things because I get in trouble. Ooh, look at that. Nika. Right, to... Nika. So this, I'm gonna. We're gonna start moving quickly because we have a lot to get to. This is the medium size, I think, and then we have large. Um, bits and pieces of Nika come in. The Nika mine is in Chihuahua, Mexico. That's not a dog, that's a place. Oof. Somebody online said that recently, like Chihuahua, like a dog. It was in a movie. No, but somebody or something said it online too. Maybe they were joking, and I'm like, no, Chihuahua, like Housewives a place. Housewives of Orange County kind of thing, you know? I don't know. Um, okay. Um, it's closed. <laughs> it's closed because the Mexican government um, doesn't want to pay to, to pump the water out of the mine, so it's closed to humans. It's not safe. Um, Nika is spelled N-A-I-C-A. You can um, go down a rabbit hole. There's awesome videos on YouTube about the Nika mine. The Nika mine is the one. Have you seen the meme on Facebook where there's men inside of a mine? Oh, and the, the okay. Shut up, I'm talking. Okay, I've got 13 pieces of the medium, and I've got four <clears throat> of the large. Selenite instantly clears energy. It is like hardened white light. And this is from a really incredible mine that is closed and may not open again in our lifetime. We get bits and pieces of it here and there, and people have old stock. This is not new stock. They haven't reopened it. I don't even know how we got it, and it's super, super magic. There's no other selenite like this on the planet, and it's studded with black mica, which is so rad. Um, That's really pretty. So I have 13 pieces that are 4 inches at $162, and then I have 4 pieces that are 6 inches at $229. Um, if you look at the etchings on Nika, there's something else going on there. They're full of these triangular sort of patterned etchings. But I'll tell you something. If that doesn't make you feel better, I almost don't know what will. I instantly, this is an instant healer, clearer, clearer mood booster, energizer. But, you know, I'm a Mexican stone person. I just, anything from Mexico, I love. Holy sacred. Truly. Yeah. So congratulations if you're getting one. Yeah. Yeah. Really happy for you. 13 so of the medium. So we had 13 of the medium. 13 of the medium. 162. 
And you can do your homework. It's a really good price on Nika Selenite because it's just getting harder and harder to find. These are terminated pieces, by the way. You can see the termination on them. It's pretty cool. And then the um, large, four inches, two twenty nine. dollars All the Mexico, all the time. The one, yeah, Riley said, the one I got has a triangular portal in it. I'm not surprised. Hmm. So here's the thing. It's a great question, Lana, and it usually comes up, so it gives me a chance to teach. Here's the thing. If you sit selenite in water, it will dissolve. Over time. Over time. Not overnight, but over time. The reason, but you have to have water in a selenite mine. This is the great dichotomy because the temperature has to be almost so high that a human can't, can't survive in it. They have to wear gear, okay? But the water is in the bottom of the mine, creating the humidity and the temperature. It's not on the crystals. Does that make sense? But the water at the bottom of the mine is above 10 feet or 20 feet, so humans can't enter. And the Mexican government for a long time paid to pump that water out. They're not paying to pump the water out anymore. And so the mine sits. Yeah. Could you create selenite? I don't know. But what a fun activity. I mean, I don't know. If you had all the right conditions and the right mineral presence, you could for sure, right? Um, so Alicia said, uh, I'm just going to observe because I'm not sure how to buy. So when the team says what something is and how much it costs, you can say sold. As soon as you see Team SG write thing price, then you can say sold. And the, if you're one of the first ones to say sold, depending on how many we have, you get it. And make sure that at the end of today, you have an account at chgoddess.com. Yeah. And in there, you put your YouTube handle so show them my <clears throat> that we can match up your purchase with you. Yeah, so if, you're, if your YouTube handle is... Um, Flash Gordon. My Melody. And your name is Joanne. What's wrong with Flash? What's wrong with my melody? <laughs> is that helpful? Okay, good. Um, this ring is insane. I don't know where it is. In the membrane. not under F for fire, <laughs> and it's not under O for opal. R for ring. Can you guys alphabetize my list for me? It makes it hard for me. I'm really struggling to find it. Alexis, can you help me find the number for this one? Because I've, I've gone by the alphabetizing and it's not. It is not. How about some spheres? No, I really want to talk about these rings. 10A, 10B. Important. No. Alexis. Oh, here we go. It's under Herkimer. Yeah, no, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Um, wow. Thank you. 12. I got it right. Um, what I'm going to tell you is I have 50 of these. The price is insane. Um, these were commissioned. These are handmade rings for Sage Goddess. They're fully adjustable. These are Mexican fire opals, which is the cosmic fire of transformation. Um, Mexican fire opal is, is a stone of the solar plexus and sacral chakra, um, but it really just is like your inner cauldron. And then the double terminated Herkimer diamonds are transmitters, right? Sending and receiving that energy. This was made for me because I wanted a Mexican fire opal and Herkimer ring. Can you believe these are only $59? Fully adjustable. Are you Sterling serious? Silver, open on the back. These are 59 bucks? I have 50 of them. With Herkimer and opal? Yes. Wow. Wow. Ready? Go. Wow. Custom made for Sage Goddess. Don't exist anywhere wow. else in the world. I'm really proud of it. Um, Look at those cuticles. No, don't. Why? I wasn't looking at it until you said <laughs> no. that. I'm like, oh. Wow. Oh. Um, yeah, and um, really, uh, Yvonne on my team. Um, Go, Yvonne. Did a beautiful job bringing these rings to life. Um, the quality of the fire opals is exquisite. It's just, I mean, if, if you're a fire sign, then you're probably doing a little jig right now. Yeah, seriously. Um, this is, I mean, and for that price. I would say you're safe at a size four up to a size 10 if you want this ring. That's your safety net. If you're a three, you could probably pinch it. If you're above a 10, it probably isn't going to work. 
<laughs> ready, go. And you're going to see me wearing it all the time because yeah, I love it so much. You know what? That is, Jessica, you're right, a badass ring. It's badass. Yeah. I'm going to, now that we've done it, can I take one and put it on? Take this one. I like that one. That's funny. I felt I was drawn to the other one. It's okay. Well, then take the other one. What sorry. do I know? Can I, can I, can, can you go back full screen? Oh, sorry. Isn't that cool? Chickity chick. Now, at a size 7, there's nothing to adjust. It comes as a size 7. If you want it smaller, you'll pinch it. If you want it bigger, you'll widen it. Isn't it gorgeous? You can see it from here. Yeah. It's a nice ring. It'd be a cool pinky ring, too, by the way. Uh, I'm so happy. Cheers, Team SG. You did a beautiful job. Yeah, good job, you guys. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I'm so excited. I don't want to wear mine till they till I shared them with you. They came in this week and I'm like, oh, I'm like sitting on my hands trying not to wear it. Let's do another yellow. Congratulations. Okay. Really? They're going to freak out, man. Um, <laughs> fire agate right? flames. Fire agate flames. No, let's do a wand or two. Okay, let's do wands. Wand. Are you guys ready for a couple wands? They're ready for wands. They're always ready for wands. Are you ready for a wand while Team SG catches up? Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, let's do, hold on. Let's do that. Um, the uh, blue and green appetite thing. Oh. Yeah, and there's a little sphere in that in that bowl that I would like to please. Okay, so for tonight's Which one first? Um, the sphere first. Don't tell them first. This sphere is very special to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a star sapphire sphere. It's got a beautiful star on it too. Mm. You know, star sapphires are my thing. Um, are we selling bowls? What kind of bowls are you looking for, Jen? We have the big onyx bowl here. Tonight, that's all that we have left, if you're interested. Bowls, let us know. bowls, lots of bowls. Um, I love sapphires, and I love star sapphires. So this is a 1.5 inch star sapphire sphere. Isn't it beautiful? You see that? Ooh. It's a big deal. It's like a double that's, star. That's, you know. Sapphires are not cheap. That's like a devil. <laughs> That's a big deal. Um, you can't buy it because we're giving it away. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, this might really mess up the team because they're still trying to dig out. Too bad. They're I'm trying just, to read I'm... all the comments. And don't comment anything yet. Give our team like... Team SG, can they 30 comment? seconds. No, no, stop, 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 wait, stop, wait, wait, stop, wait, wait, wait. stop, stop, Did stop, stop, I... stop. See, I told you I'm going to make somebody mad. 30 seconds. Let us tell you a story. Back me... in the day. Let me tell you about Hooters and Binghamton, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you there's a Hooters and Binghamton? I tried, Alexis. Dave is right. See? Yeah, I'm thinking okay. like. No, but I don't want to tell stories. I just want to keep going. We're going to come back to that. We're going okay. to do the appetite then. Is that it? Is that a two? We can do the appetite. It's We're okay. going to come back to the sapphire. One day, I'm going to be like, I don't know, however old, and I'll be live, and I'll be telling all these same stories, and you guys will be like, it's okay, let her tell it. <laughs> let her tell it, honey. It's okay. So, a funny other story about Hooters. No. No. We gotta show them that. All right. <sighs> Nothing good ever started with a funny story about Hooters. <laughs> Another funny story about Hooters. <laughs> Another funny story about Hooters. <laughs> I'm probably the only woman on the planet who wanted to go to Hooters when she was eight months pregnant. <laughs> and ate their weight in wings. <laughs> I literally was like, I'm still hungry. <laughs> okay, whatever. All right. Um... Okay, this is a blue and green appetite flame. I only have one. Okay, but you got to say, I mean, the, the deal the with this one. This is Okay, insane. thank you. Thank you. So, so, all right, you guys. You will see appetite out there. <laughs> okay? You will see it out there. What? Thank you, Terry Wright. <laughs> but you're not going to see. It's Jemmy. Gem quality. Appetite. Yeah, it's really beautiful. This is the same quality that was on the website the other day with the the free forms that we had. Just I mean, absolutely insane. It's ridiculous. Isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. Gem mm -hmm. quality. Um, I only have one of these. 
Isn't that beautiful? It is $99. Blue Appetite is for uh, weight loss and for telling the truth or understanding if someone is telling the truth. This is $99. All hand carved, Madagascar. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I know. Look at the green in there. I mean, it literally is a hybrid. It looks like the ocean. I mean, it's, it's just so beautiful. Amazing. If you're a blue green person, like that's just insane, isn't it? Um, now look at that. I mean, this is a charity item it's for tonight. A wow. So whoever wins this one, <clears throat> your your purchase, all of your purchase, all ninety nine dollars is going to the charity of your choice. And we thought this was a good one because not for weight loss. Um, because it is really a stone of discernment. And I thought, you know, for different organizations and, and places that you might want to send your charity piece, um, oh, maybe they need show. maybe they need clarity and discernment right now. You guys, it is seriously. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm a blue fan, right? So anything blue. He's, he's having a moment. But I mean, look. <laughs> look. No, you can see into it. It's beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. It does. It looks like the water. You know what I mean? Wow. So congratulations, who got that, A.K. Miller? Yeah, it's a great piece for, for a charity because I think just with discernment and understanding and wisdom and all of those things that come with the stone and, and authenticity and you know what I mean? <laughs> Denise is like, Dave likes blue, no way. <laughs> Speaking of things that we uh, have heard maybe once or twice. Maybe here. It's okay, honey, just let him say it. Maybe here, maybe here. Are you trying to show people your just, you know, I've been married long enough. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> they can have at it. Enjoy. Oh, great. <laughs> Free OBO. <laughs> Dot likes blue, too. New Zealand, thank you, Papa. I was two steps ahead of you, darling. Yeah. Um, ah, Stephanie didn't get a ring. I know, it's hard. I still have, oh, I don't have any rings, more rings than I. Do you have some pendants that you do need to see, though? Everybody else is like, can I sell my husband on here, too? <laughs> He, he, he will try to sell me tomorrow, so it's fine. We, we go back and forth. Today he'll sell me, tomorrow I'll sell him. Um, I'm so glad you guys got the rings if you wanted one. Truly, truly. Okay, we can do the sphere now. Thank you, Hannah. Who wants a star sapphire sphere as a gift tonight? Isn't that a beautiful giveaway? Oh, if you don't have a sapphire sphere, I want to give you one. We did do the Sujalite rings, EA. Thank you for checking in. Mm. Can you, um, I need to slow that down. It's too much for me, I can see. I'm gonna do that. Carefully. Oh, oh, Jesus. oh no, no, no. hey, oh, oh, hey, hey, don't what? do that, don't do that. Is this about the GWP? <laughs> Lower your GWP, honey. That's your bit rate, right? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, I saw you earlier in the feed. Simply Fun Ashley. I like your name. I saw you earlier. And usually when I, when, when spirit kind of brings, and it wasn't about like buying anything or anything. I don't know. I just noticed you energetically. And so I, when I scrolled up, I saw your comment and I don't choose on like, oh, people need this or whatever. I really let spirit choose. But now I kind of understand why I was seeing you earlier. So what she said is Sapphire is my mama's birth stump and she just passed in May from pancreatic cancer. I'd be so blessed. I feel like I'm going to cry. I'd be so blessed if I won this. I'd never get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I, I think sometimes, you know, our loved ones continue to find ways to speak to us. I really do. Simply fun, Ashley Jesus, independent consultant. So congratulations, cutie pie. Please make sure that name is in your SG account. On yeah, that. make sure if you didn't set up an account, that would be very difficult Ashley, for us to... If you didn't set up an account at sagegoddess.com, that's the only thing I'm going to ask you to do because I don't know if, if you've purchased anything tonight or if you're a customer, and if not, which is not a big deal. I don't care. Um, but I just need to make sure you're in the system so that I have a place to send this to. So please make sure. 
Look at that. Do you see that dancing around there? You see that? I'm oh. happy for you, cutie pie. Okay, that's okay. Good. Awesome. Oh, do you? Okay, I don't. I don't keep track of who buys what, Ashley. It's not my. That's not why I'm here. So she's like, no, it's in my account. Good. That's super. And Karen cool. Carly says, I'm sorry, I lost my parents five years ago. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, I'm really happy to be able to send that on to you. Yeah, and Annette remembers the skull that I sent to her after her dad passed. And um, there's just moments where. I think part of my job is to connect people with crystals, and it's not always about something you buy. So cheers to you. I'm really, really happy for you. Mm -hmm. Did you really, Nicole? So um, so here's what's funny. Nicole Venhus. Am I pronouncing that correctly, Nicole? Can you tell me, Nicole? Um, I, I have something for you. And the reason I'm telling you that is you're the other person... Uh, now, I wouldn't have chosen you for that sphere, but you were energetically on my radar tonight, Nicole. So will you also please, Team SG, will you make a note of for Nicole, if I probably didn't pronounce it correctly, Vin, Vin Hoos, I believe, or close enough. Um, I have something for you. Long E, Vin Hoos. Is it Vin Hoos? I'm close. I okay, like that. I have something for you. Sapphire related. So stay mm -hmm. tuned. Um, yeah, Corinne said we are starting stage four in Melbourne tomorrow. What can we wear high risk? Um, the most important thing, honestly, when it comes to navigating this virus, what I've been told in my meditation is you need to align yourself to an energy stream of health. Um, everything is telling us to be scared and be fearful. So what we have to do to stay healthy is align ourselves constantly to I'm healthy, I'm strong. Um, I'm, I'm, again, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm, my immune system is strong, I resist all forms of illness, you know, only health, only perfect health comes to me, and just constantly stay in that mantra. And I'm actually really serious, it will raise your vibration. So I don't even know if stones are as powerful as your own thoughts and your um, perspective. What movie was that? It wasn't I'm healthy, I'm strong, but it was something, something, and gosh darn it, people like me. No, that was Stuart Little. Um, on on Saturday Night Live, like Isn't you would look in the mirror and go, "I'm a good person. People like me." It's just like, no, it wasn't Stuart Little. That was no, that was Stuart Little was the guy who read the like little messages from the universe or whatever. I think I don't it was know. a movie. I want to say it, not Adam Sandler, but the other goofy from Liar Liar. I don't, Stuart Smalley. <laughs> Um, did Nicole see that I said that? I hope, <clears throat> hopefully, I think she did. Anyway, All right, okay. we're doing spheres. Demorderite, do you need patience? Do, 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 do. Demorderite, do, 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 do. Demorderite, do, 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 do. Demorderite. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and, and don't, don't lick people or touch them right now. <laughs> Is that like a commercial? What? Hi, everybody. This is the Sage Goddess. Want to stay healthy during this pandemic? Stop licking people and don't touch them. And remember, keep telling yourself, I'm healthy, well, and strong. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> and wear a mask. Bye. Okay. Okay. Um, I have two different sizes of demortarite spheres for patients. <laughs> Which is what it takes to be married to me, or to work with me, or for me. <laughs> Alex is like, no. I haven't liked anybody lately. All right, come on, okay. man. We're running um, out of time. Okay. Like ten minutes. <laughs> I have seventeen. Ten minutes. Okay, I have seventeen of the small, and I have forty of the medium. This is blue quartz, by the way, and it looks like the night sky, and it's one of my favorite stones. And it is for patience, peace, and presence. This is. It ain't gonna get to you. The people, they're not gonna get to you. The stuff, it's not gonna get to you. Okay. For that. Patience, not patience like medical patients or mental patients, but like patience to tolerate people like me. Okay, small, medium. The small is $56, two and a half inches. The medium is $66, that's three inches. For the night sky of peace, patience, and presence, the PPP. Do you need peace, patience, and presence? Peace, patience, and presence today. That's not as good as my barrel song. No, it's not. <laughs> barrel is Morgan, I am blue. Barrel is Aquamarine. Can I just say, imagine water. if you're a delivery guy coming to the house right now, 
and you see these people like through the window and they've got these lights and they're like they're like holding these balls up in the air. Well, because our Amazon and, guys come and, back and, and forth and, a couple and, of and they're times. like dancing, right? And they're like oh, oh. Do you know what I got delivered today? That's a scary question. To I ask. I'm really happy if you're getting a sphere, by the way. Yeah, Denise is like, for patience, I need a bigger ball than that. I need a bigger ball. I got malt vinegar delivered today because I found a recipe through a friend of mine on Facebook for these smashed potatoes with malt, malt vinegar. Ooh, that I know. Sounds yummy. So we can make like fish and chips. That just reminded me of London. Oh, <laughs> London. Most people don't like to say, ooh, London when it comes to food. But if you know where to no, go, if you know where to if go. you know where to go for fish and chips and Indian food in London, then the food is good. I don't know what Americans think the food isn't good. They don't know. And tea. And tea, darling. And biscuits. Oof. Mm. I'm ready to go to London. I need to get Who's with me? <laughs> Who's with me? Jesus, London, rescue me. Better health care. Help. Help. Mm. I could eat my weight in German potato salad, Tina Briggs. But, you know. Well, thank you, Angel. I can't afford a new wardrobe <laughs> after the German <laughs> potato salad. So anyway, now you have peace, patience, and presence. And the night sky. I like it. And it's, it's beautiful. Blue. I know, and it's blue. I had two blue balls today. <laughs> oh, we did actually. Um, Let's do another yellow, just to fuck with the team. Just, oh, we have to do that um, that septarian spirit. We have to. Oh, oh yeah. Did you show this earlier in your Instagram live? Yeah, I did. All right, this was cool. Did you put it in? In what? Yeah, I did, but I didn't put it all the way in because I don't know how to get it out. I'm not going there. I only have one of these, by the way. I'm going to show it to you, tell you the price, and ready, set, go. Because then we're going to do wands after this. You ready? Okay. This is the coolest septarian sphere I've ever had for you. So first, I'm going to show the whole wraparound. Look at that. Look at that. And it's like a... If I can figure out how to show the damn thing. Look at that. It's insane, you guys. And you get the lid. Team SG, if you don't wrap this safely, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> there are kids watching. I'm sorry. Earmuffs, kids. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Okay. Can you get it back out? I'm gonna put it in the right way. Okay. Eight and a half inches of magic. This is septarian. The word septaria in Latin means cracks. Our ancient ancestors thought that dinosaurs came out of these because they look like dinosaur eggs. Ready? Rawr. And dinosaur. Um, oh, you know what? We should have put a little, like... <laughs> that would be cool, That actually. would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been really cool. We should have put a dinosaur We should have put a little, like, stuffed oh animal in God. there or something. Ancient wisdom. By the way, it's full of druzy. Septarian is a combination of a... Alexis ragon. thinking Yoda. Yeah. Should put like baby Yoda. Um, aragonite and calcite are the two minerals that make up septarian. So that is the actual geological formation. Do you see that? It is so rad, you guys. Ready? It is $599. I only have one. Malachite dino from the last sale, I know. Look at look at the crystal on that, Isn't guys. That beautiful? Oh, I know. See, we should be able to climb into something like this and go to another planet right now. Go hide. No, just to like a, d a different planet for a little while, maybe two months. <laughs> I would go. Uh, Seriously cool. Isn't it cool? Oh, I don't know who got it, but congratulations. It's insane. That, and it's heavy. Well, <laughs> and it's cool. Well, I want to be really careful. You have it. to put a dinosaur in it if you win that. Please. Like, I, I almost want to go on and Amazon and picture. buy like a little plastic dinosaur. Yeah, seriously, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> isn't cool? Ah, oh, Lisa Taylor got it. Congratulations, Congrats. Lisa. Yeah, Mark calling Orson. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's to a Mark piece. <laughs> I know, me too. You can visit it. <sighs> we have to do the hearts because okay, those grab, were grab in the, the last okay, sale. Grab, grab and the hearts. They we'll do the hearts real quick. We didn't get to them. Okay, lightning round. Ready? I don't know what that was. That was my lightning round. What sound. was that? <laughs> I don't know what it was. Oh, and we have the sapphires here. Oh, we're doing the sapphires for sure. Oh. All right, buckle up, everybody. This is going to go quick now. Here we go, yo. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I have six of the medium, four of the large. That is the medium. The medium is five and a half to six inches of the most beautiful quality rose quartz I'm able to bring you. This is from Madagascar. That's big. My ringer's on? 
Yeah, your ringer's on. That's kind of You know, crazy. it defaults. It put, I don't like my phone at all. Really? The and button just defaults No, but it does. It goes back to on sometimes. I don't want that. It just, you know. Okay. This is the medium. Five and a half to six inches. I have six of these. This is the most important love stone you can have. Rose quartz attracts love to you. So we have the medium. This is the large. Which is the medium. And then the large. Which is six and a half to seven inches. Which is more than large. I have four of the large and I have six of the medium. Um, the medium is $68. The large is $88. Seriously? Mm -hmm. It's insane, wow. dude. Wow. It's insane. That's, That's an insane price. So This so is the second, like... How much um, is this one? 68 and 88 that's that's actually that yeah it's insane i mean yeah. i remember paying for something half yeah. this size when i was like going into my mom and pop shop locally mm -hmm. paying 50 bucks for something half that size yeah. easy and thin easy. like pancakey yeah. 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 yeah so anyway i'm proud of our pricing i think for me it's it's a it's something i'm very proud of it drives him crazy but i'm, I'm proud well, it's, it's nice to be able to pass it along. I'm not saying it is. that, but the quality on this, and I can't show it in the camera, but it's I insane. mean, you'll see when you get this. Like, I can see an inch into this. Yeah. Now, I don't know that every one is going to be like that. That one but isn't like, quite as translucent, but it has rainbow. But this one, I can see an inch into it. Mm -hmm. When you can see an inch into rose quartz, that's... That's something really good. That's something good. Yeah. And Madagascar has overtaken Brazil for me when it comes to rose quartz because the Brazilian rose quartz lately has been a little milky for me, a little bit more on the white side than pink. So Madagascar is kind of coming up there in terms of better quality for yeah. me right now. I'm picky about my rose quartz. Hi, Nick. Hello, Are you Nick there? Here. Um, Must be a Fortnite break. Love you, Nick Nick. Okay. So congratulations because that was a crazy price and a really important stone. Very, very important. Okie dokie. How many do you have of those? That was a yellow? No, that's here. Ten. Oh, good. Ten. Well, then we can move on um, to sapphires. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now, would that be under S? Sometimes I feel like Miranda Priestley. Hmm, would that be under S? Hmm, there. Okay. Now, it's. I only see two sizes. Well. Nothing here. No, there's four. Nope. Yes, there are. Okay, I have small, medium, large, and extra large, and I've got decent quantities of this, oh. um, but I don't have access to any more. So? <laughs> Nick is waiting for the update to install. <laughs> um, I have, of these small, which he's showing you, I have 17. No, oh. that's not the special side. Yeah. That's the side the is side. kyanite. The front is star sapphire. These are wands. These are sapphire and kyanite wands, which so, is wisdom, balance, and clearing. So you've got small, and then... That's the medium. So the small is two to three inches. The medium is three to four inches. These are rad. These are natural, you guys, from India. It's where the star sapphire just happened to grow with kyanite in one pocket. Isn't that cool? Yeah, no, seriously. And, and what you do with this, by the way, no matter, it doesn't matter what size you get, honestly. Get any size that you can, just right up against your third eye. It's, it's real buzzy. <laughs> You're going to enjoy this a lot. Call me tomorrow. Yeah, call me tomorrow. Um, I have pendants for you left after this. And then you gorgeous. have the big bigs. Insane. It's, it's like a fluke of a pocket of a mine that they happen to pull out. Um, so I have 17 of the small. I have 40 of the medium. I have 10 of the large. Get ready, Hannah and Alexis. And I have nine of the extra large. The small, two to three inches, the 17 of those, those are $89. It'll be one of the rarest things you ever get from our gem sale because I'll tell you, this is the only time I've ever seen this and I lost my absolute mind. I was like, kyanite with sapphire? It does look like Two the whale. Two of my favorite stones. The whale spaceship. Yeah. So those are the smalls. Again, I have 17 of the small. And we're taking a breath. The medium, I have 40 of the medium. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, the medium is 99. It's $10 more. I know. Aren't they incredible? That's good. Mm -hmm. 40 of the medium, they're 99. Those are three and a half to four inches, the medium size. Look at that color of that sapphire, you guys. Holy shit. That's natural. It's not treated or anything. They're so incredible. 
Um, the large, I have 10. Those are 119. And the extra large, I have 9. Those are 129. Wow, that's... 39, 80, uh, no, I'm lying. 89, 99, 119, 129. <sighs> I mean, it's legit two of my all-time favorite stones in one wand. So my, I cannot contain my enthusiasm. This is almost all you need. <laughs> if you've got star sapphire and kyanite, like, and you're on an island, you're good, probably. You've got wisdom, intuition, balance, clearing. Is there mica in there too? It looks like well, mica. Well, kyanite, on... yeah. I mean, you'll find yeah. kyanite grows with mica, so that's yeah. that's automatic. They're all in there. Yeah. Um, and some of these have black tourmaline. Yeah, and black tourmaline too. There's black tourmaline yeah. in there, so there's also protection. So we had some of these on the website. This is all we have now. You want me to design a sapphire necklace? I kind of want to too. That could be fun. Um, Dave got me a sapphire uh, cuff. It's a, a, a snake. I don't. I don't wear it. I don't know why I don't wear it. Um, I should. But um, I actually want to have a replica of it made. Of my sapphire cuff, my snake cuff. Why? But like in topaz and sterling silver. But you have one. Why would no, you? No, for want... them. Oh, I'm like. Wouldn't they love it? You have the real the thing. I think you guys like, would why love would you it. want a replica? I think you guys would like a sapphire snake. It's pretty sick. <laughs> Next time I'll I'll wear it to the sale so you guys can see it. Yeah, for Christmas, wouldn't that be fun? Mm, that's a gift and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a cuff coming for you. You're gonna lose your damn mind. It's not here yet, so I'm not gonna tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> no big tease. Congratulations if you're getting one of these. You will love this, and I don't know how to get more of it. I don't even know if there is more of it. So congratulations if you got one. Sapphire to the business. If you if you were to ask me, I mean, it's a tough question, but if, if you look at everything that I wear, sapphire, citrine, quartz, and diamond are the four stones I wear every single day. Not that that means anything, but those are the four I can't be without. Sapphire is up there for me. But it's the teacher stone. And, and sapphire has been important for royalty across time. I mean, it's always been seen as a stone of power, a stone of wisdom, a stone of intuition, a stone of, you know, sharing wisdom too. So congratulations. Beautiful. <sighs> okay. So yeah. we'll ask, we'll come back and ask the, uh, Team SG if there's any left later on, because I don't know. Maybe they can let us know as we go through the food. Yeah, we'll keep you updated. That was a lot for them to go through just now, so. Repl replica pendulums, Ooh. second round. I don't know. Mother. Could you really just do that? I just did that. Hold on, he's going to have to go away for a minute. He spilled his... Whoa, dude. Oh, oh my God. God. Son of a... This is going off the, the rails here. <laughs> I'm going to show you some wands. Annette has sapphires in her wedding ring. You know, I think part of why... Are you waiting on a bowl? We already talked about the bowls, Jen. Would you like one? I can't lift that for you. <laughs> but damn it. Barbara's, Barbara's fired. <laughs> That's, this is real bad. Real bad. Barbara's double fired. <laughs> I don't have any pendulums tonight. I do have a mala I want to talk to you about. This is actually a mala on our website, but I asked the team if I could talk about them tonight because this is something I want to teach you about. I don't think we're going to have time tonight, so I'll probably bump them to next time. So we have, I think we have two or three of the onyx, or not onyx, calcite, blue lemurian calcite bowls left. Michael says it's okay. Oh, God, it's real bad. No, it looks fine already, babe. It's totally going to be fine. Just make sure you get it over there real good because that looks bad, but everything else looks okay. We have kids. It's real bad. <laughs> he really messed it up. I here. totally did. Um... Can uh, Team SG, can you remind us of the price of the bowls? I'm going to look for it real quick, too. Um, I want to say they were 1900 but I, I can't find it. Team SG will let you know. He needs a plastic cup. <laughs> Nick is just glad it wasn't him. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
1999. Oh, thank you. Look at you guys jumping in. So yeah, if you want a bowl, we still have some. Okay, I'm going to show you wands. This is going to be the lightning wand round. Are you ready? Um, I'm coming closer to you. And then I'm going to try to find these things. I think if my vision was better, I'd be better at this. I'm going to blame it on my vision. Because I can't find wands. Are the wands on here, Team SG? Can you put them under wand next time? <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me today. I honestly can't find them. Are we not supposed to do them? Um, two. Two and three. I see two and three. Okay. Yeah. Look at please, me multitasking. We just put these under wands, Team SG. I love you, but wow. Because then there's still two others and I can't find them. Can you tell me where the other ones are, please? Yeah. Okay. This is going to go kind of quick. Maybe. Oh, this uh, 17, cool. 18. Okay. Yeah. So next time, just all under wand, please, Team SG. Uh, I used to be a corporate trainer. I'm going to let you show this. You're going to take a minute there. Oh, God, I used to be a corporate so trainer, and shit would go wrong all the time, and I would just have to hold steady. Honestly, it's great training for this. <laughs> it was just going wrong all over the place, and I was like, are you enjoying our training today, everyone? <laughs> Can you imagine weird. if you had spilled it? No. You would have been really mad. I would have been so fucking mad. <laughs> I'm really glad it wasn't me. <laughs> mm. All right, you got to back up a little bit. I can't well, I was it. trying to do your um, job for you. I know. Yeah. Some of us are holding it together, Some everybody. of us are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Oralite with laser cords. We talked about lasers previously. These are Diamantina, by the way. And then there's a cut and faceted Moldavite that I really want you to see that's right under that Oralite. And it's super, super magics. Oralite 23 is a mixture of 23 minerals and metals that's been found in Canada and Brazil. This is Canadian. This is old stock Oralite cabochon. And that is a cut and fasted little cutie green moldavite right underneath it, which is the result of a meteoric collision between a meteor and the Earth 21 million years ago that open. happened outside the Czech Republic. Open on the back. It is open on the back, Come and on. it is double terminated with uh, Diamantina lasers. I try to do That's that. an incredible wand. It is small but mighty. This is a healing. This is an interdimensional oh, healing good. wand. That is a great shot. Interdimensional healing wand. Sterling silver. Look at those moldavites. Unreal. This one is eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. If you're a healer and you do interdimensional work, I mean, this is your thing. Isn't that cool? That's a picture and a half, Dave. Great job. Mm -hmm. You're just saying that to make up for the fact that I just built well, a lot I mean, on this really carpet. Well, I mean, you really screwed it up over there, but aside from the fact that you really just screwed no, the pooch no, on the but carpet. Do you know why I don't care about the spill on the carpet? Because you're pickier than I am. I know you're going to clean it. Honestly, this carpet goes right away. So it I mean. does. Congratulations. Very excited for whoever gets that wand. It is a beauty. Vanya said you rock. Barbara is rehired. It's true. I like Barbara. Barbara is a little unique sometimes. That's pretty. Denise is telling you how to clean it. It's awesome. I appreciate that. Okay. I have uh, four other wands. You ready? Do you have an appetite for more wands? If I can find them for you. Um, the next one is... Which one? Angel Aura. Green Aura Quartz with Flower and Dragonfly. I think that's that one. <coughs> it is. This one's really pretty, you guys. Look at this. So it's a different kind of aura. It's not aqua aura. It's what they call a Caribbean aura. Do you see that? It's like a blue green on the one side. Um, and then as you, as, you, as you move down, this is such a fairy wand. It's a totally different energy. So there's that blue green. It's double terminated, by the way, with a piece of fuzz that's free for you. And then there's a flower in sterling silver. Then there's that um, cut and fasted. Do you see that? Do you mystic see topaz? the light plate? That pretty? mystic topaz. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Then there's a little dragonfly, right? Which is super magic. Dragonflies change their colors all their life. Isn't that cute? And then there's an uh, opal aura quartz point, a Lemurian, on the other end. This is like enchanted realms wand. 
Isn't that beautiful? Um, this one is $7.99 for Opal and Caribbean Aura, Mystic, Enchanted, Realm, Wand, Awesomeness. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that Caribbean Aura, I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, it's neat. And um, everything in these wands is like old stock. They don't use a lot of like new stones, so it's probably something that like existed a while ago and like doesn't exist anymore now. Isn't that beautiful? So yeah, that one is $7.99. Can somebody get it? I don't think the team has said what it is yet, so they have to wait for that. Just a second. Um, They're waiting for it. Okay, and then the other the other three wands I don't see. One and two, right? Or two and three? No, those were the two and three. Uh, Team SG, do you not want us to do the other um, wands tonight? Oh, here's one. Um. Who got that one? Isn't that gorgeous? I know. This is, <laughs> that one is really, that's for somebody who's doing fairy work for me, which is, which is very real work um, in the Enchanted Realms. There's, there's a, there's a different kind of magic. Oh, 17 and 18. Okay, good to know. Okay. So which who one? Who got then? that one? I don't know. I want to see. Congratulations, whoever got that one. Oh, Skylar got it. You're going to love it. It is so beautiful. It, that caught a lot of people's attention today. I've gotten several messages on, um, on different platforms asking about that one from my preview today, so congratulations. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one is, um, I don't even know what to say about this wand. It's one of the most expensive wands we've ever this brought. One? Yes, it's Merlin. Wow. This is dragon magic. No, do, do me a favor. Look at the quartz cluster from that direction. What do you see? It's a dragon face. Do you see it? The snout comes down and the... Oh, I see. Do you see it? Yeah. Is that red? It's just a red piece. Mm -hmm. Do you want to keep it? I've never seen a dragon Merlin one before. It's pretty cool. Let's show it. I'm sorry. You I guys want to see it? I got I to gotta clean the... I got to have the carpets cleaned. <laughs> um... <laughs> This, this, is one of the most, this is one of the most... No, I'm not, honestly, I don't care. He's a Virgo. He cleans stuff up. I have nothing to worry about. Um, can you turn it face down so I'm they gonna, can see I'm Merlin gonna, and I'm the, gonna, the dragon I'm gonna, on it? Let yeah. me show the whole thing, okay. and then I'll get to the... This one is insane. Um, so there's a clear quartz sphere. Drops down into rubellite tourmalines. Cut faceted. Then there's a dragon, do you see, in sterling silver. Then there is a quartz cluster shaped like a dragon. That, no other way. No. Oh, sorry. Do you see how that quartz cluster is shaped like a dragon's head? <laughs> uh -huh. And then on top of that is Merlin, of course, with another rubellite tourmaline right there. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Team SG, the description on this was off, just so you know. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with my own observation because I don't see obsidian or aqua aura on here. I think that might have been the other one you were thinking that's about. This. But, yeah, but Oh, that's a different one. Okay. So then this one I don't see on my list. Sorry, I'm trying to show the Merlin. Oh, so here it is. Okay, now I've got it. It was just in a different place. It was under M for Merlin. Can you see the Merlin? Okay. Um, you see the Merlin? Isn't that crazy, you guys? This is one of the coolest wands we've ever brought you. Um, this one is eleven ninety nine, um, and it makes me speechless a little bit. Now Merlin's important to me. I'm actually designing a gemstone set honoring Merlin because in my own practice, Merlin is a very healing figure. That's that. not working very well. I'm working on it. Give me a second. I'm trying to get the camera um, This is an insane piece. I really want to show that Merlin. The Merlin, he is, oh my God, that's a good shot. You can really see Merlin. Isn't that insane? And look, Merlin is holding the sphere. It's a little tiny moonstone. Do you yeah. see that? 
right? The, this, this one is about the detail work. You have a quartz cluster that looks like a dragon's head with a dragon with all those rubellate tourmalines. This is a complete Avalon wand. Yeah, that's a that's Ooh, Angela a, got it. Congratulations! That's a piece it, it's half. rad. Where did you get this? <laughs> I I'm sorry, I can't show it well enough here, but it's it's insane, right? It's an insane piece. Congratulations, Angela. Congrats. Yeah, we really are happy for you. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's super cool. So there's that. You got to take a breath after that, right? I know. I will I will tell Yvonne that we love the Fire Opal and the Herkimer, Herkimer Rings, Roni, and I will get more of those. I'm glad you're loving them, too. We have two more wands for you. It's hard to top any of that. I Which do have one? a Moldavite wand for you. So let's this, say the Moldavite for last. Okay, so let's do the Obsidian wand first. Obsidian! So one, Obsidian is the medicine of the month, actually, because we're doing a lot of clearing work. Isn't that more of, uh, you know, around Samhain, or no? Well, but we're doing Aztec healing ceremony in um, in Soul Ship this month. So we're, we're kind of pulling a little bit of that energy forward. Um, okay, here we go. So this is... A double terminated clear quartz Vogel with aqua aura. Nope, that's Mystic Topaz. That's what I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. yeah, Sorry. Sorry, Team SG. That's um, cut faster with Mystic Topaz. And then Obsidian Cabochons with a dragon on top of it. This wand was titled the Sacred Masculine. And it it's comes a with double a free vocal hair. wand. Yeah, you get extra fuzz. It's probably Smudge's hair, so congratulations. Maybe on a drop of wine. Hair and some wine. <laughs> um, this is so Obsidian clears energy. The Mystic Topaz is all about illumination and transparency and protection. And then the Vogels remove unwanted energy from the field, right? So, Ashley, as soon as you see something you want to purchase, when the team writes what it is and how much it is, you can say sold, okay? Um, this wand is $8.99. So if you didn't get the other dragon wand and you wanted dragon medicine, this is your other dragon option. More masculine, I would say, than the previous wand, even though the previous wand was more Merlin energy. But Merlin, as you know, at least for me, Merlin is both masculine and feminine. You don't know how to use one? Rebecca, you need to come join Crystal Masters. I will teach you everything you need to know about how to use a wand. We send and receive energy. We activate grids. We cosmically clean up messes. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. I'm excited to see you got that one, too. Yeah, I had uh, an accident. <laughs> That's not what anybody wants it's to It's not going to be the last time. Venus uh, says, nobody I know is into this. Then you need to hang out with us more, because nobody I know isn't into this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, even my like muggle friends are always kind of like, Hey, can I see that one thing that you have? Congrats, or Catherine. Like, yeah. Oh, Catherine got it. Congratulations. Very happy. All right, last one. Okay, last one. Um, last but not least. Let me see if I can find this one, though. This has been like a goose chase. Okay. Yes. No. Um, all right. Uh, this is a Moldavite wand. Are you ready? There's something I, I love about this piece that they did. He loves Moldavite where it is polished on one side. He loves that. So on the back of the Moldavite, they left it natural. Yeah, so you can really see all the like. So on the front, yeah, when you look through, and let me get it on there. We are ringed out tonight, just in case you're wondering. We are all out of rings tonight. No worries, CC. There's always more next time. Do you see how you can see the grooves from That's the back? That's a rad shot. Okay, so they this come is. through the back. This is Vogel on one side, Angel Aura Druzy on the other, with pink tourmaline, cut faceted moldavite, a reverse moldavite cabochon, there's a champagne topaz, there's two cut faceted amethysts. So a dragonfly? There's a sterling silver dragonfly, and then there is the angel aura druzy. Okay, tell me that's not rad, you guys. That is really cool. It's a great shot of it, actually, I mean, too. tell me that's not flippin' so, rad. Um, this one is 949. I mean, that moldavite. That Moldavite and those cut faceted Moldavites and that Champagne Topaz and the Rubellite Cabochon and the cut faceted Amethyst. I mean, this is like all the things. Because if you think about it, it's grounding, clearing, interdimensional protection, removing energy, channeling energy. Like, I don't know that there's anything you can't do with this wand. It is 
949. Rad. It's rad. <laughs> that one sided polished um, Moldavite, so cool. and where they on the other side, it's, it's rough and natural, is really cool. Look at that. Which is the most powerful crystal? It's funny because I just saw, didn't Hibiscus Moon do a video recently on what the most powerful, I didn't watch it, but I saw the headline and I was like, I I'm kind of curious what she thinks the most powerful crystal is. Um, I'd be curious to know what her perspective, but for me, I don't know that I think that there's one crystal that's the most powerful. I will say the one crystal everybody has to have is quartz. Is there anything good at clean carpets? Mm. <laughs> This is where my training comes in. No, David, but thank you. And I'm sure you'll do a great job of cleaning that right yeah. up. <laughs> Moving on, everyone. Um, you have to have a double terminated quartz of some kind, whether it's a wand or a single piece. You have to have that because you got to be able to send and receive energy. So I don't, does anybody know what hers was? I'm curious, but I mean, there, there's multi-purpose stones, like black kyanite kind of does everything. It clears, it releases. Um, sapphire is super powerful. Speaking of sapphire, Team SG, do we still have any of the um, uh, sapphire wands left? Yeah, people have been asking if there's still any more. Or any of these. <laughs> Nancy wants to get you a sippy cup. <laughs> I totally. I still have one of Zoe's from when she was a baby because I keep weird stuff like that. Not that I mean, who's ever gonna want it, right? But I couldn't throw it away. Uh, and I'm gonna put your wine in, in your little pink sippy cup next week. <laughs> I'm totally doing it. As if I'm not already emasculated by being called Barb. <laughs> Barbara drinks from a sippy cup. Woo. Yeah. Great. Why are Herkimer diamonds so lightweight? I've never noticed that. But now you want me, you make me want to go upstairs and have a touchy feely with my Herkimers. Mm. I've never noticed that they're lightweight. I've got some big ones and they're not so lightweight. Anyway. Barbara is very masculine. <laughs> it's fine. Barbara's okay. Barbara's doing all right. Barbara's doing all right. Um, I'm actually okay with making fun of myself. I don't know. Like, I think more people should be. No, but I don't you know. and I both make fun of ourselves all the time. I mean, I, am, I do the dumbest stuff that anybody on the planet does, I think. Like, if you can't laugh at that, I literally stand in, in, sometimes in this house and just laugh at myself. I'd be okay with a roast. I don't know if everybody else would. I'd be okay with a roast. Some people might. Some people might. Do I have any pure Herkimers? What do you mean? Like, super, super clear? I have one that has um, record keepers all over the place. Hey, we got, we, we're already over. Are you guys okay for a few more minutes? What about like another 10 minutes? You ready? What's happening? Are you okay? Taking the temperature? Kind of exhausted by this? <laughs> Me wanna, too. Me spill, too. You want to spill anything? I was doing all now. Can you just stop? What is even happening right now? Look, this rug is important, right? I know, we got pendants. Okay, we there's, got a, there's generators. a generator through with somebody. There's a generator. Okay. Do you want us, you, um, okay, if you have children, they have to kind of go in another room for a second. Why? Well, we're going to talk about the S word with that. The generator? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know which one you wanted to do. <laughs> You're like, wait, what's happening? Uh, yeah, this is the, this is a, you got it? Everybody, everybody smells kind of. Okay, I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna show you a couple more things and then we'll be done for tonight. This is a sex generator. There you go. She said it. Called it out. No, as Denise, it is. we were like this before, honestly. I don't know Who? if the, what? she said this is what you get when you've been in lockdown too long. No, I'm, we've been like this for years. I actually think I'm more normal now. I know, Dot. He has to go in timeout after this. Well, Dina's here for it. All right. This is Orchid Calcite. Gonna... <laughs> what? What? Careful how you hold that. Hey. <laughs> it's eight inches, <laughs> if you're wondering. Lalu's Linda's like, mm-hmm. I don't know what normal is, honestly. I'm not here to be a poster Are child. Are you going to talk about the stone? Um, Orchid mm -hmm. Calcite comes from Canada. Oh, Canada. Um, it's studded with black tourmaline, and this is sacral chakra and root chakra. Do you, do you see him over there? What's going on, Magic? What's up, little man? It's okay. Oh, oh, it's nice. You okay? Can you say hi? Oh, that's nice. Oh, Kuzu. Caddy's on camera. Look how mad he is. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, man. It's so nice. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. 
Um, does this come with a Swedish pump? <laughs> does this? Really? Here's your book. This called... kind of thing ain't my bag, baby. <laughs> Here's your book called Orange Calcite Generators Are Absolutely My Bag, Baby. <laughs> <laughs> This is an easy purchase to justify, though, right? Because this makes everybody happy. You He'll say yourself. yes. She'll say yes. <laughs> they will say yes. This will happen for you. Okay. Um, eight to nine inches of magic. Eight in, uh, I have eight of them. <laughs> I have eight, eight of these eight to nine inch. Look at the girth. Woo. Ooh, it's more right. than most people would want. Um, it's $69 to activate your sacral chakra and protect you at the same time. This is safe sex. Do is you get it? it? But do you no, get it? No, I get it. I get it. Mom. But do you get it? No, I get it, Grandma. <laughs> it's safe sex. Oh my God, it's awesome. Okay, that, take another sip of your wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe sex, everybody. I like to think about the team having to write down safe sex generators and then like the quantity. Yeah, <laughs> make sure you guys spell it right, okay? You know. Don't alphabetize it under safe. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. I gotta have a laugh at your expense, and it's sixty nine dollars. <laughs> That's right, sneaky McPeaky. Whoop. It's safe. It's not safe like boring. It's safe like protected. It was good, right? <laughs> it's late. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It feels like it's late. I'm tired. <laughs> I feel like that little girl on Instagram where she was like, I'm just a little tired. <laughs> and she was like screaming and crying. I didn't see that. Really? Oh. All right. So we got a couple things left. We got pendants. It's exciting safe. That's right. We have flames. I want the flames. We have the Jaspo. The Jaspo. Jasper generator. Well, that may not make it again tonight. I think it wants to stay with me. That's the does anybody, second spec sale. Does anybody like that red Jasper generator? It's been in my personal collection, and I felt like I needed to find a new home. It's big, and it's red. I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know that it's on there. <laughs> it's on there. Um, I'm looking. No, it's not on here. Wait, well, did you put let's it do the pendant and we'll come back to that. Because the pendant was just back here. <laughs> okay, let's do the pendant. Do you like it? It's really pretty. Can Dave hold it up? I don't know. He's tired. <laughs> In a few minutes. I think it's beautiful. We'll do we'll do we'll one keep, pendant we'll and then we'll around. do the Jasper generator and then we'll do another pendant. Okay. okay. Alright, and that's it. It's too big for you, Dot? I got it. Uh, You're good. We still have two other All right. Oh but the flame. I love the flower agate flames. I was really talking them up today. It's my favorite song. We will end on that. Okay. She let him and Rainbow Moon. I don't want to have to drag those other those other pointy things home again. Um, it's hard. Flame you. Add another fifteen minutes. All right, here we go. This is Shelight from Turkey. The blue stone on the bottom. On top is Rainbow Moonstone from India. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. She's pretty. Look at no, but look at the flash on that moonstone. Yeah, um, that's what, what I that's what I was trying to say. Um I have eleven of these. Um they're all in sterling silver. The shapes are slightly different, the weights yeah. are the same. You'll sleep good tonight. <laughs> I know, right? Um So somebody liked, might get a square and somebody might get a Yeah, the shapes are slightly different. Um so Shelite, there's two locations where they mine Shelite. One's in China, one's in Turkey. This is Turkish. The Chinese Shelite is orange. The Turkish Shelite is kind of blue and it's got these bars. They have the same metaphysical properties. So Shelite is really important for manifestation. And part of what I love, the reason I chose these pendants is they, they, they're combined with Moonstone, which is a stone of completion, fruition, and manifestation. So I was like, well, that's kind of perfect. I mean, you have the, the Shelite itself is always a manifestation stone, and then the Rainbow Moonstone is completion fruition manifestation isn't it beautiful i love it it's open on the back too mm -hmm. but the quality of the rainbow moonstone you guys is absolutely magnificent yeah if he yes yeah, see how he, when he turns it you can see it the light play move across the surface of the stone i mean they're completely blue flash rainbow moonstone they're gorgeous that one's very feminine. She looks like a goddess, doesn't she? Hmm. 
Was that on the Minoan sabbatical set two years ago? I don't remember, Sarah G. May have been. Look at that blue flash on it. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. I know. I love it, too. There's nothing I don't like as much as crappy moonstone. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on. we got a lot to get through. Um, I have 11 of these. They're $129 each. Retail value is $169. Oh, yeah, these are... 129 And I have 11 of them. And that's it. And they're, they're a nice size. It's a very nice size. Just for scale, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a larger piece than, like, my daily stuff, but it really catches the light. And what's cool is when I show it to you like this, do you see how you can even see the blue flash moonstone like from across the room? It's, it's like no joke moonstone. It's even flashy on the back. I should call it that, no joke moonstone. No joke moonstone. Well, crappy moonstone sucks. Yeah, it's a pendant. Yeah, it's a pendant. See how it's got the bail right there? And it's a big bail too, so you can put anything through it. Mm-hmm. Isn't it beautiful? So manifestation, fruition, completion. And then Rainbow Moonstone is Soul Star Chakra, Crown Chakra too for some people, and then Throat Chakra for She Light. I know, aren't they pretty? No, Dina, we did all our rings tonight. We did the Fire Opal, we did the um, Sujalite, we did the Porcelain Jasper. We had three rings tonight, but unfortunately those have been spoken for. Um, we're gonna do one more flame and one more pendant because I have natural scolocyte pendants for you tonight and then that's all she wrote. Oh. How many flames do you have? I don't know. I have one of the extra large, four of the large, eight of the medium, eight of the small and three of the extra small. And I don't see red jasper on here. We can do this, guys. You want to try? We can do this. Um, Team SG, do you know the price on the red jasper generator? I don't have um, I don't have any information on it. I think it's because you added this. Oh, really? Yeah, I think there's that. I don't, I don't know what to charge for it, then. I do. I love it, but it doesn't belong to me, and I feel like it needs to go to a good home, and it's gorgeous. It's actually kind of a form of snakeskin jasper, if you look at it closely. Isn't it pretty? What are you doing with it? I'm looking at it. Mm. Okay, so um, is there something else you want to talk to Ed about before I come? Mm. What's happening right now? Hmm. No. You decide. Um, it was yours. I'd like to give it away. Who wants it? Do you want it? So why don't I show Move it? Move your little foot. <laughs> What's even happening right now? I don't even know. Thank God my roots have been done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like way down low over you here. You see this sucker? It's She's huge. It it's huge. Well, somebody needs it. And, uh, you know, honestly, I just want to give it away. Got a beautiful quartz vein going through it on this side. Mm. Oh, yeah, baby. Come to mama. That's right. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm down in the weeds. Whatever. He knows how I roll. Yeah, Sharon was going to buy it. Well, you know what, Sharon? You can't buy it because I'm going to give it to you. Congratulations, Sharon Linden. Congrats. Yay! Sharon gets the generator. It's red. Jasper for Sharon. She needs her root chakra <laughs> activated tonight. Sharon's root chakra's activated tonight. Do you hear the music? How many of those pointy things <laughs> do you have? You asked me that already. Well, I'm just... Are you happy, Sharon? No, I asked you about the flames. Oh, I don't know. Because I don't want to, like... I don't know. Congratulations, Sharon Linden. Congrats, Sharon. I'm all up in her root right now. That was fun. All right. 
Oh, this, the pointy things. The, the pointy, stilated mercados. That's what I was, yeah. Stilated mercados. I don't know where those are on here. Under SRM. Nope. Neither. I'm going to go through and alphabetize this for myself next time. Mm, I don't think those are on here. Sharon's Root Chakra. I would look on my list, but it's covered in one. Oh, Intuitive Cosmic Gateway Star. Is it under I? <laughs> it is. I love you guys, but wow. Wow. <clears throat> I don't want the Sharon's Root Chakra song to become a thing, but it's kind of becoming a thing. I let's get do, out of my let's head. do that. Okay. We can do these two last things. Okay, all right. No, three. There's three last things. I don't want to do three last things. Why don't we just do the intuitive flames and... Because we have the, the quartz. What is that? It's what not intuitive what flames. We're not doing that tonight. Okay. Let's just do the flames. So we okay. got... What, but you got the, the intuitive uh, Merkavas. No, we're not doing those tonight. Well, the flames aren't intuitive. Let's just do the flames, but not the Merkavas. Get the flames. The flames are more work to get. Get them. Skylar's singing with me. <laughs> I love you, Sharon. I hope it's okay that and, we're all well, singing we're about your room. we're doing these too, right? These? Yeah. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get us off of Sharon's root. This is Skullicite. Dave's going to show you because it looks really bad. How am I supposed camera. to get these flames? Uh, well, one thing at a time. You want, oh, you want the Merkabas. Oh. Ah, thank you, everybody. <laughs> ah. Okay. These are... <laughs> These are Skullis pendants. I only have six. They're 149. And the reason I fell for them, I'm in love, is they're natural. They're they're rough. Like touch it. <laughs> you want to reach through the camera? Everybody feel this. Dave needs to rub it. Look, see it's rough. It's like it's like natural and rough. And shiny though. At the and same then on the time. back it's polished. Now, Scolocyte, member of the um, zeolite family from India. Scolocyte is also a member of the Synergy 12 configuration that Robert Simmons says is the most important 12 stones for ascension in this, in this um, time-space continuum that we're in. And Scolocyte's really important. If you're one of those people who has trouble with meditation, this will really help you. It, it makes meditation easier, a more fluid experience, right? Am I squirrely tonight? <laughs> I love it. Wow. Touch it, Dave. <laughs> touch it. I just wanted him to touch it. I like it rough. Okay, one and a half inches. I have six of them. They are $119. Retail value is $159 for a natural scolocyte in sterling silver. This is your Ascension Multi Dimension Magical Pendant. Isn't it pretty? As it's cool, right? Jen's like, I have not seen this before. Me either. By the way, there's only like two places in the world that do pendants like this in natural scolocyte. Only two. So it's not something common. And people will be like, is that selenite? What is that, right? Because it's kind of shiny, but then when you get up on it, there's nothing quite like it. Um, and it's ascension, it's all those upper chakra energies. And so if you've been feeling too grounded or too kind of like, I don't know, it would help Sharon because it would balance her out because now her root chakra is gonna be all active and she needs something upper chakra to balance it. And Sharon's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm just happy for her. Is there anything for the third eye? We did, JC. We had some sapphires and different things tonight and demortarite. Um, so unfortunately we did, but it was kind of earlier in the in the broadcast. No, you're good, Lori. Don't worry about typos. We know. We got you. Oh, I love it. My best life said so this is my new go-to place for all things spiritual. <laughs> There's more than spiritual stuff happening, unfortunately. Let me get these Merkavas. I, you know, I just work here. If, if you want Merkabas, they will come to you. This is available for you today. Under eye for intuitive. That's flipping cool. <laughs> that one is rad. That's and, flipping. And the lapidolite or the labradorite one. Okay. Um, I have 30 of these. They're all different. So it's going to be an intuitive choice for you. I have labradorite, clear quartz, um, peach moonstone, yellow aventurine, red jasper, sodalite, they're beautiful. So these are called stellated Merkabas, right? So these are these are interdimensional little antenna <laughs> to, to reach cool. the stars. So that's right. So Karen Carly, we had these, right? 
but not on the stands. This and so they're connected to the stand. So it's not like they're just sitting there. I mean, these this are, these is more of a pieces. It's a peach piece. color than a yellow. It's coming through on the screen yeah. a little yellow, but yeah. it's more of a peach color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's not yellow. We just do that in the camera, so I have better tan. Um, bauxite is red, um, term, uh, red uh, barrel. Bauxite's a fantastic grounding stone. It's just like good luck finding it. My jeweler, Sylvia Peluso, had a bauxite pen there recently, and I was like, I don't even know how she found that. Um, these are five to six inches in height. I have 30 of them. They are $39 a piece. Her intuitive stellated Merkabas, also known as your interdimensional <coughs> antenna. This one basically says, aliens, I, please don't, please come back. <laughs> Literally, this that's what this is. Aren't they fun? They're really neat. I, 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 they're neat. There's nothing else quite like it. Um, and it really does have that. It, it brings something dimensional to your altar, to your to grids you might work with them in. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they are. Yeah. And it takes that's a long more, time to more make of a these. Rose quartz than the I, quartz. This is rose quartz, but we do have yeah. clear quartz too. Oh, okay. This, this is right. a golden adventure. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, it looks more gold here. That's good because it is very golden. It's it not, does. It's yeah. not orange. Yeah. So it'll be kind of fun for you to see which one you get. Yeah, it's definitely like, I don't, I'm not good with like the thing, but you know, like that. What? Star Trek? What the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> he doesn't know you guys. No, I know what you're trying to do, but you can't do it. No, but whatever, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he, you, you would fail the academy. You can't do a full taco. I cannot. That's funny. This is why we're still married. What do you? What do you? Because I know. What are you my trying guess. to do? What are you trying to do? <laughs> Does it matter if you have to pull it apart? I have a lot of jewelry on. Maybe that's why. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like I did it. That's really good. <laughs> See, you're more of an alien than I am. I am. Okay. Congratulations, you guys, if you got one of those. Those are really cool. You are hanging out with us. <laughs> if you were here, I would just pour you an extra glass of wine Seriously. and go, I don't even know what to tell you. The guest bedroom's upstairs. It just gets more weird from here. <laughs> okay. Is this the last thing of the night? This is the last thing of the night. Are you ready? So there's only one thing else after this that we haven't offered. I don't want anything else. Okay. What are you offering me? <laughs> what are you offering? <laughs> Let the bidding begin. <laughs> We're starting at 99 cents, everyone. Here we go. Okay. Are we ready? Is Team SG ready? Look at that. Why would they need to be ready? Well, because we just oh. had a, a multiple thing. Oh, okay. Do you see um, this that? is not yellow, though. No, these are rad. That's why I was like, we're doing this, or I'm keeping all of them. This is going to be like my Quan Yin altar. That's a negative. <sighs> Don offered five dollars for me. <laughs> Thank you. We're not, we're not doing anything else. Angel offered a million. I'm somewhere in the middle. You know. Um, you want to show them the sizes? All right. Okay. So, well, why don't you tell them what it is while okay. I show the sizes? Okay. Flower agate comes from Madagascar, and it is one of the most gentle stones. Um, it looks like the cherry blossoms on the East Coast. If you've been in DC, I used to work. Look at the juicy window on that. Um, if you've seen the cherry blossoms, they look like that. And um, there's hearts on all of them. He just showed you one of the big hearts. There's a heart on that side. Do you see it? Uh, um, and so this only comes from Madagascar and it was only introduced to the market a couple of years ago. I'm obsessed with it. This is compassion. Flower agate is all about compassion. You can see that. Beauty, compassion. Like this stone represents everything that's important to me. Drusy and they have, window on that. they have Drusy. So Flower agate, of course, grows with quartz. So there's like druzy pockets and windows and all kinds of magics on so these. You can start to see the size difference. Excuse me. So is this small? This, uh, so it starts extra small, four to five inches. Then it goes to small, five to six inches. Uh, and these are really affordable too. And then, then it, it goes, goes to, to medium, six to seven inches, large, seven to eight inches. Hang on, hang on. Isn't it beautiful? I love it too. And then the extra large, which is um, just big, nine and a half inches. And I only have one of those. 
Bam. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. This one has purple all the way up the side. It's, it's gorgeous. You can't see all too well in the in the. It's so pretty. But you can actually see into the stone there and see those little eyes. It's so pretty. If you don't want it, don't even worry about it. <laughs> I keep it for you. I'm surprised you're not keeping this one. Maybe I will. I don't have a flower agate flame. I'll keep it. That's okay, yours. Great. The big is yours. Okay. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. My, my birthday's next Sunday, so happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy, I, happy I birthday. I actually am building a Kuan Yin altar, and I'm building it outside because um, I want to have a prayer space where I can just go and connect with Kuan Yin because compassion is oh, the energy dude. stream I'm supposed to be working on this year. Look at that. Look at the druzy window on that. These are insane. So are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> Did you get a sphere, Lorianne? Then you're probably obsessed. I have a sphere, but I don't <clears> have a flame. All right. So the extra small. Okay. Extra small. I have three of them, $39. Good luck with only three. I know, I'm sorry. I wish I had more, we tried. Three, we tried. $39. Three, 39. Um, the small, I have eight. They are $54. I'm sorry, I wish I had more, I know. Druzy, They're window. They're so gorgeous, you guys are gonna freak out. Look at this one. Show them this one. It's got the whole side of it is, is translucent. I mean, they're absolutely magnificent. This is the medium. We have eight of these. The medium is $79. It's all purple all the way up the side. Yeah, it's, so it's, it's beautiful. stunning. It's stunning. You will not be disappointed in these guys. They're so gorgeous. Stunning. And then the large, I have four. They're 124 That's a fantastic price. Yeah. And then the extra large, um, I'm keeping. Druzy. But our price on the extra large, just so you know, was two fifty. It's still a really good deal. Right? That we really kept the price on these low because these are all hand carved and of triple A quality yeah, flower amazing. agate. It doesn't get any more beautiful than that. Were you really called to that? Yeah, I've been really called to compassion. And I've been really called to compassion for um, the people it's hardest to love right now. No, but also in all seriousness, you are not hard to love. But but people who are like angry and judgmental and stuff, I've just been called to like completely just people, shower them with compassion. People who spill wine on your carpet. I am not worried about the, the carpet. I honestly am legit not worried about it because you are such a neat freak. I know you'll do a good job cleaning it up. But no, seriously, I, nobody will do a better job cleaning that up than him. So I have nothing to worry about. It's all going to be great. Uh, but it's really true. I've been finding that if people are really angry and frustrated, that I'm just called to wrap tighter arms around them. Maybe that's dysfunctional, but... Um, so if I, if I want to get a little love, I, I get pissed. <laughs> I always liked a bad boy. I really did when I was young. Thank you for the birthday wishes. That's really sweet. What's the best crystal for compassion? Ready? Are you ready? Because there is one, and it's almost sold out on sagegoddess.com. What is it? Pink Cobalto Calcite. Team SG, if you want a link to it. If you have not gotten Pink Cobalto Calcite, they found one more box of it and they put the rest of it back in stock. This is all we have. And I couldn't even talk about it for a while because the inventory issue was like really screwed up. But it's like, I don't know, it's like $5 or something. It is the most important stone for compassion. So Pink Cobalto Calcite and Flower Agate are Kuan Yin stones to me. Um, and I, I, I have a little tiny Kuan Yin statue, so I'm going to put my flower agate flame outside with my Kuan Yin statue and some of the pink calcite around it and that's going to be my my compassion space i see you anita lockwood it's nice to see you you want a birthday makeup tutorial video is that weird does any i mean do you guys really want to see my makeup part of me feels like that's weird and nobody really wants to see me do my makeup but then i've been people have been asking me about it for years so i don't know because i wear the same makeup every day and it's it's affordable makeup it's easy to get so maybe i should do it we should both do it i'll just do my guy liner video and you, look hot you do uh you know it looks really good your makeup tutorial you put a little coal in there it's looking yeah, good you know it really just you know it makes accents the blue, the blue. It just makes it pop. I don't know I just don't want you later to be like then she did a makeup video because she thought her makeup was so great and it's like I really don't I'm kind of hesitant to do it would you like to see it where's the best place to buy statues it's a it's a crapshoot you guys um, eBay's okay sometimes but you got to make sure here's my rule with statues they have to be made out of brass don't buy resin statues. In my experience, they'll fall over, they'll break, they're not, you know, you want something, if you're gonna put it outside in your garden, it needs to be something so 
you know, stone, but I don't, I don't like a lot of cast resin statues. And if it's going to be brass monkey, it's going to be funky. <laughs> oh, Donna had a stroke in January. Um, oh, sweetheart. Um, what's good for you? Let's start you with some kyanite, some blue kyanite, which will get you back in balance after a stroke. Um, fluorite might be good for you too, coming out of a, a stroke situation. And then start working with sound. What I'm getting intuitively for you, Donna, is sound. Singing bowls, tuning forks, drum, whatever, ring some bells, shake a rattle, but you need some sound is what your spirit guides are saying. Makeup, bingo, and movie reference night. Makeup, bingo, and stuff. Okay, well, we, we should do a game do list. night. We should do a game we night. We should do like remember. a monthly game night. Yeah. Remember like that uh, that movie, Game Night? Yeah, but that was weird though. That was like It got real weird though. It definitely was weird, but it was um, funny too. Yeah, I we're love. sending you big love. Polychrome Jasper, Laura's recommending. I like that too. Mm -hmm. Did you like bingo? Okay, we're talking about it. I know, like a sleepover. <laughs> Are there any flower agates left? I'm not sure. Um, so TMSG, is there anything left that we should highlight real quick since we're already way flipping over? Not like one or two left, but where there's like a dozen left. Is, is there yeah. anything, Hannah or Alexis, <clears throat> that you think we should just mention briefly to people? If it's all kind of onesie twosie here or there. But then we'll put it in the Friday. Then, then so they, if you don't know, every Friday we do. Uh, no, no, no. They, they do a wrap up on the event page. So you can oh, go back tomorrow right. and say sold. That's right. Yeah, that's so it doesn't automatically go to Friday. No, let me let me help let me help you. <laughs> they'll they'll put a list. <laughs> little, 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 yeah. oh, he, like, he likes oh, a back yeah, scratch. Yeah. Oh, I know exactly the way to his heart. <laughs> um, a stone for being apart from family. You need heart stones. You need rhodochrosite. You need rhodonite. Mm -hmm. You need chrysoprase. Feels like because there's some sorrow and some grief there in your energy field. So I would go with bronzite, maybe some Apache tear. What might be kind of fun one time is to do an hour of just this. Would you guys be interested in that? Like, what do you do for grief? And then I can feel into your field and tell you, or like, hey, I just had this happen. Okay, and I can feel in and tell you. Um, I may not have the stones to sell to you, but at least you could go find them somewhere else. And it might be kind of fun for your learning. Maybe we do like a channeled stone night. I could do some giveaways or something. I don't know. Because these conversations are interesting, right? Like, what about depression? Well, we would start with lapidolite because that's lithium. But then it depends on what's causing your depression. If you have underlying health conditions and we have to go into, like, the bloodstone, the green calcite, the, you know, if you have, you know, if you somebody's broken your heart and that's why you're depressed, then you got to go into the rhodochrosite, the chrysoprase, the rhodonite, right? I don't know. Like, that might be kind of fun. And for me, it's kind of top of my mind, so I don't have to really prep too much for it. It's kind of fun. Something to think about. Something to think about. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys. Thank you to Team um, SG. Team SG. For you. going the distance with us tonight. Yeah. Weight loss is appetite. Hopefully you saw that I tried to. And then if you're trying to lose weight, you need apple cider vinegar. And I can't buy that for you, but it's on Amazon.com. And you have to get Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And you have to take two tablespoons a day. And you should take it with water so it doesn't upset your esophageal tract. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> Um, so what's coming up next for SG? We have class tomorrow if you're in Soul Shift. We have session one of August. Um, Thursday, you will not see me. Friday, you will not see me um, a whole bunch. Um, this weekend is my birthday, so I'm going to try to stay off of social media as a gift to myself. That's weird. not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I'll probably go live on my birthday and, and um, sing weird songs with you. And then on Monday, we have New Moon. No? Don't get that far ahead. I don't know. We have something no, on Monday. No, Hold on. No. We have something on Monday. That's just, that's a lifetime away. No, it can't be New Moon on Monday. No, we don't. So then we have nothing on Monday. We have Cosmic Comfort next Tuesday at 3 p.m. It's the following Monday that we have New Moon. So thank you for all your birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us, mm -hmm. you guys. Really thank you, Team SG. Cosmic Comfort Tuesday. Everybody, thank you. Yep, thank and you. have a fantastic evening. Love you, Team SG. We'll see you soon. Take Bye. care, everybody. Congratulations tonight.